It's, it's Martin. Do you think you're losing profit? Yeah, you're good. I'm good? Yeah. Don't cry. No, I don't see it. I was just kidding. <gasps> don't you dare! What's wrong? <laughs> oh, nothing. She couldn't get her horse out. We couldn't see it. Ferry to San Denis leaving in 12 minutes. Listen, Ferry to San Denis leaving in 12 minutes. What signs? All oh, these fucking ribbon signs. Hey, what signs? All these fucking ribbon signs, they look so fucking hideous. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of them, but I mean, there's not much else you can do. Yeah, they look fucking hideous, alright? They need to fucking go. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for it. They don't like it in my face. Yeah, me either. It's distracting. Alright, let's go to your, let's go to the corridors. Yeah, I've got a big speech to make tonight. What you got, about 12 minutes. Make sure you put your weapons away. Yes, yeah, sir. I'll be over there. I'm gonna go find Lydia. Alright, my boy. What is going on, everybody? So, I've got a short, like, hour-ish that I've gotta play my other character. I'm an attorney. <clears throat> um, got a big speech to make, trying to, uh... Get some criminal justice reform around here. Keep in mind, my uh, my two characters don't know each other, so, you know, yeah. I don't know that I, you know, the character I am right now has no clue that, you know, I also play Carlo and he's a criminal, so. But for events that have happened recently, my character has decided uh, it's time to give a big speech about some criminal justice reform and toughening up on crime around here. So we're going to be going to what's called open court. We're going to hear uh, some folks' grievances. And uh, see what happens. So I'm actually, uh, I'm Martin right now. I should probably update the stream title real quick. Got to handle some business as my attorney, so... And get that taken care of. Is that a loco? <laughs> no. That's a fancy looking loco. <laughs> that isn't loco. You better watch yeah. your mouth, young lady. I ain't no <laughs> fucking loco. Yo, you look tired. You look fancy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's not the way. This way. Yeah, I heard. I love it. Yeah. It's super bad. It, 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 it looks good on you. What's going on, my boy? Just need that I got so many guys from now doing the same thing, by the way. Right. Perfect. Okay. More white suspenders. Let's go. Wait, can, you, head in there. Can, you get, can you get rid of the holster? Yeah, holster left, you know. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Yourself, sir? Good. You know, uh, you here for open name. court today? Yeah, I'm uh, Martin Reynolds. I'm an attorney. All right, Martin. I do have to just do a quick search for you. Uh, yeah, make sure. Go. All right. Thank you for that. I'm going to do a quick search. Maybe. Here, come on down these steps so you don't trip. I think that's exactly what's happening. Probably correct on that one. Mm hmm There we go. You ain't gonna find much in there. No, you're fine. I just make sure there's no farms. I see you got enough for uh, all right, sir. Alrighty, partner. I greatly appreciate your time and patience. Yep, Have a thank good day, Cole. Appreciate mm -hmm. you. You went. Wyoming. Yes, sir. Uh, Maxwell head popped. Uh, he's um not gonna come back. All right, so open court is uh where people come to air their grievances and you know oftentimes it's where criminal cases are heard so should be uh pretty quick on here and then we'll get back to your regularly scheduled programming of carlo
My God, the judge has gotten in. Is that the judge there? Yeah, that is the, that is your honor, uh, the honorable judge Bo Ryder. I, I'm sorry, I couldn't. I I wasn't sure. You may approach the uh, the podium there, sir. State he's your name. A, and... He's a he's a lawyer. How you oh, doing, your honor? Attorney. What's your name, friend? Yeah, my name's Martin Reynolds. Martin Reynolds. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had the pleasure of uh, being before your honor. Most Very of well. uh, my interactions have been before Judge Bamford, so. Well, you're most welcome here. I appreciate you making the the journey. Hopefully you didn't have to travel too far. Uh, just from this uh, local shithole that is Blackwater. Just a couple steps, you know. Some, uh, some folks question why they uh, refuse to have my courts in San Denis. Yeah, it's not that I refuse to have them in San Denis, but A, there's one point you just made, and B, I don't know if you ever noticed the abundance of lights inside that courtroom. Yeah, no kidding. It gives you a bit of a, I don't know, strainy eye. Mr. Reynolds, will you have a client with you here today? No, Your Honor. I actually just uh, wanted to bring a couple personal matters to the court as far as uh, just some some personal beliefs that I've you know, proffered up over the last couple weeks or months of uh, this year, wonderful new year. Very well, Mr. Reynolds. I can uh, surely wait my time and uh, my turn and take a seat when uh, the time is appropriate. Mr. Reynolds, I don't see anybody else in the courtroom at the moment. You may speak. All right. Well, you know, I'll just start. So uh, for far too long, this Commonwealth, in my opinion, has been dominated by criminal organizations that really uh, reap no threat of harm or persecution for any of the actions that they do. You know, my main reason for coming here today is to uh, plead to this court in your honor that uh, this Commonwealth uh, truly is in need of something being done to lessen these uh, everly increasing criminal rates and crime rates. You know, as a man who, uh, you know, possesses I'd say quite a bit of knowledge of the criminal justice system and uh, just how much it does intertwine with the lives of everyday folks. You know, I, I certainly plead to you, Your Honor, that uh, this soft-handed approach that we've been dealing with, uh, with the criminals, that it just stops. You know, now mind you, uh, I'm not without my biases. You know, I put my pants on in the morning the same way as Your Honor, but uh, I'd ask you to please consider this. I'm uh, I'm a defense attorney after all, and I'm coming to your court pleading to you that something has to be done about these uh, criminals getting away with everything. So why am I doing this? Because I can see and foreshadow a train that is, uh, you know, quickly approaching a blown out bridge. I plead with the court to uh, abolish, number one, the Farm for Freedoms Act, where criminals, you know, get to sit in Siska for two days. And then after that, you know, all they do is farm. They sit around, don't do much else, and uh, after two measly days, the district attorney's office, you know, decides that, uh, oh, well, I'm not going to say decides. They fail to do their job and prosecute these criminals and uh, properly indict them. So uh, why should the citizens of the Commonwealth continue to suffer? Because one man, the district attorney, would rather run around, be pompous and flaunt his position, and sit his rear end at a desk, bring forward cases to this great court. Too often, these criminals and their matters are handled outside of these four walls. And uh, as a matter of fact, I believe that most criminal uh, procedures should be handled within the courthouse. Uh, it's done nothing but show just how supportive of crime the district attorney's office has become in the last couple weeks, or months, rather. So, I ask that this idea of parole also be abolished, because too often folks behave for 30 to 60 days. You know, prime example, Mad Ron. And uh, mm -hmm. before, they go back to their puny lives of crime. Why do you do this, they ask? Well, they behave this way because there's no impediment for them not to do so otherwise, Your Honor. Let's face it, nobody's reformed because they sit in Cisco for a few days. They're merely putting on a show. <laughs> and this ain't Broadway, that's for damn sure. So I understand. I'm, go ahead. I'm go sorry, ahead. I've got... Sorry, Your Honor, I've got one more thing I'd like to it say. Sounds like you do. I've got a... Uh, I ask that we go back on this tough on crime approach. The you know we stop reacting to criminals and instead become proactive and treat them with the wrath of the criminal justice system that they you know truly deserve. Force them to seek out a qualified attorney like myself, you know, to provide them with legitimate legal advice and stop allowing them to be set free merely because the district attorney would rather farm and wave the pretty women than do his job and prosecute said criminals for their actions. 
I don't mean to target my frustrations at the district attorney, especially because he's not here to defend himself, but let's face the facts, Your Honor. He isn't here. What a theme that has surely become. These issues didn't exist until his progressive, soft-on-crime approach infected this great institution. So I'll end this with saying, please consider my words as an offering of a solution, and let's restore faith in this great Department of Justice. Mr. Reynolds, I... I share your enthusiasm with, with the criminal. We don't need these scoundrels running around this fine commonwealth causing a ruckus. Unless I'm mistaken, I do believe we have a plethora of lawmen rather largely around the majority uh, popular towns, such as Blackwater, San Denis, Valentine, Armadillo. And if I'm also not mistaken, we have law that patrols around the commonwealth. Now, I understand you're more focused on post arrest and holding them accountable but at a higher level more discipline well your honor if i may speak freely i'd say holding them accountable and you know at its smallest form nothing happened to these guys they uh what lose 80 dollars 30 minutes of their time sitting in Siska. we got to be tougher on these these jack wagons for lack of a better term they get to do whatever they want they get to terrorize our communities they get to victimize people, steal from them in the middle of nowhere. Sure, we have a great, great, you know, group of lawmen who do their jobs, but all their jobs for nothing if nothing's going to happen to them. Well, let's ask the men and women that do the job, if you don't mind. As a matter of fact, I have the director of the Marshal Service in the room. Uh, the director uh, Sprickett, what's your thoughts on this matter? Uh me and mr reynolds spoke about an hour ago prior to your court session and i completely and utterly back what he's saying um it will take some cooperation from the defense attorneys as well as the district attorney as well as your honor and judge bamford um to make this happen uh i think we have uh spoken to judge bamford and yourself in reference to uh a solution to bring back judicial hold for the time being, which puts more responsibility on the marshal service as well as lawyers. Um, and then it's a matter of going and not being, as Mr. Reynolds said, so soft on the criminals. Um, it has gotten to a point where uh, the law it does become sort of a soft safe haven for the criminals when they commit crimes such as the highway robberies that are occurring um then you know they get out after 30 minutes in Siska or 30 months in Siska and uh go do it all over again so there is certain solutions but they need to be sat down and met upon and the doj needs to make a decision that is on exactly which direction the they actually <laughs> want to go but I do share uh, uh, Attorney Reynolds' sentiments as we spoke prior to this as well. I just found the notes, the Department of Justice, uh, and uh, I see yourself made, took the initiative to, to push this. Uh, a lot of respect, uh, Director Sprick. Thank you. So judicial holds are going to be a little more controlled, but they are now available, especially for those that most certainly deserve it. And I see we have a very thorough process and how that works. A lot of accountability. Uh, it's a lot of responsibility to place a, a man, convict or not, on a judicial hold. But we have a very controlled manner of, of which we do that now. Uh, I will take these into consideration, Mr. Reynolds, and I will bring them forth to, with Judge Bamford. And I will include uh, local lawmen, such as the sheriffs and the director of the marshal service, as well as uh, the district attorney himself. We'll get him involved, and we'll see if we can't find a solution that can hold these scoundrels accountable. I do share your sentiment. I do not agree with folks that go around robbing, stealing, kidnapping, hurting folks for no good reason other than their own amusement, spending a little bit of time behind bars, pay their $100 fine, and off they go to do it again. Yeah, Your Honor, I think far too many people face the noose itself, and, uh, you know, I think that... Judicial hold worked perfectly fine. It was just, uh, you know, the, the Department of Justice through the district attorney's office would never, you know, push out these indictments and, you know, would not hold attorneys accountable. So whatever I can do to to help offer the, the solutions, because I think that uh, it's got to start from the bottom up.
and uh, not attack this from the top down. So, Very well. Uh, I cannot defend the district attorney due to that not being my office nor him being necessarily my responsibility. I can say this about the man. He has been on a week's vacation up in Washington, D.C., uh, dealing with some unrelated business. Uh, he will return in the next coming days. As for the indictments, uh, I do see the indictments coming in. However, when it comes to the folks that were on just a hold, I cannot speak on behalf of either party as to what was going on in between them being placed in custody and then the indictment coming in. Again, I share your sentiment, Mr. Reynolds, and I appreciate you coming to the podium and speaking today. I will take into consideration. Absolutely. Thank you for your time, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Reynolds. Uh, your Honor, can I make one suggestion that yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Reynolds, as a defense attorney, bringing this in front of the court and showing his willingness to work, um, be brought into those conversations along with the local lawmen? Mr. Reynolds, would you like to join us in these conversations? Yeah, I absolutely would. I think I could offer up quite a few uh, ideas to you know make everybody's lives easier let's face it i'm not uh i'm not against any of the lawmen i, I respect our lawmen i myself used to be one you know i think we just have jobs to do that sometimes clash with each other that doesn't mean i i don't respect their beliefs their opinions and their jobs you have a lot of balls and it's a little unorthodox but you have a lot of balls to come in front of the courts today for this suggestion that goes against your profession but i would like to have you in this seat to to try to amend these issues. So thank you for, very much for coming forward. I'll make sure we get word out to you when we have these conversations. Yeah, absolutely. You guys have a wonderful night, okay? Sheriff Judah. Yes, Your Honor. Can you come to the podium, please? Sheriff Judah, you've recently been uh, excuse me, your office has acquired uh, two other departments, uh, or I'm sorry, districts with a lot more land now. And I see your your men has your roster size has doubled. Do you have a lot more lawmen running around and a lot more towns in coverage? Uh, how do you think you're doing so far? So far, I think we're doing pretty well. For the most part, the undersheriffs have been roaming around like they should be, making sure that each town is staffed properly. We do have a couple low times in Valentine and Strawberry, but for the most part, Blackwater and Armadillo have been doing very well. I think once the uh, merge has fully sunk in to those that were kind of worrying about it, thinking it was going to be a bad idea, they'll realize it's actually a very good idea and start being more active. Once we can get above the threshold of 25 on duty, I think everything will be a lot more smoother. Very well. Thank you, Sheriff Judah. Yes, Your Honor. Podium's open for anyone to step forward. Oh, I'll go. He called me up there after I put a hot wing in my mouth, and it was so goddamn hot. Director Sprick. Oh How you doing, Your Honor? Doing fine yourself. Oh, Virgil uh, Sprick, here we go. Pretty good. Not bad. I've <laughs> been really busy. Um, so as of, uh, it's been three and a half weeks now, I came to open court in St. Denis and spoke to Judge Bamford um, at his open court session in front of multiple people. And uh, the marshal service is, is still in need of wagons and boats, um, as well as I requested a pay increase across the board from deputy marshal all the way to director. The same amount for each rank. No, you know, director doesn't make more than a deputy marshal, but I request, requested that uh, due to the fact that we are being paid at the rank of a lieutenant. We advise lieutenants, captains, undersheriffs, and sheriffs, and are tasked with replacing those ranks within the departments and also guiding them and giving them advice throughout our entire time in the Commonwealth. And uh, to make the what the rank of a lieutenant makes is, quite frankly, an insult to each deputy marshal, marshal, supervisory marshal, deputy director, and director. Um, if we are tasked with guiding and you know offering our advice and handling judicial holds judicial security as well as uh, the federal crimes i'm requesting an increase to match that at least of an undersheriff director sprick what is the current uh pay uh 
for your office, if you don't mind me asking? $14. Is that the absolute top of the line, or is that everyone in the office? That's every marshal in the office. Sheriff Judah, what what is your pay? Sixteen dollars, sir. The under sheriff. Sher- make Sheriff it. Judah. Oh my bad, I was not shouting, sir. Your bad. Yep. Apologies, Your Honor. Thank you. The sheriff makes sixteen dollars. The under sheriff makes fifteen. The captains, I believe, are supposed to be making fourteen around there. You have something uh, in the office? Is this the office that's? Let me let me rephrase my question. Did you request that pay, Sheriff Judah, for your office? No, sir, I did not. Director Sprickett, was any request from you made for the pay for your office? No, Your Honor. Very well. And you want to be about fifteen, which is you said uh, the under sheriff there, Sheriff Judah, makes about yes, 15? Your Honor. And, and I agree. Like. I think the marshals should be paid more than they are. They do a lot. Well. Coming from outside of the courtroom, I, I was told by lawmen that I like to run around and meet. Uh, I've hear, I'm hearing about marshals that pull money out of their own wallets to cover bread and water. That's very admirable. Uh, it, it, it's disheartening to hear that y'all is spending your own money to take care of everyone. It's respectable and commendable, but it's disheartening that you're not making a livable wage, in my opinion. Well, it would you know I wouldn't have to request wagons and or boats in order to perform our job if we made just a little bit more money that way they could purchase their own as uh, we have recently purchased horses uh, from uh, mr skip here in blackwater and i've covered the cost of that for each marshal uh for the training of those horses Mm -hmm. um so that is simply because each marshal doesn't have any money we are living horse to horse and it's uh, for a marshal to live horse to horse and not be able to, you know, buy anything for their off time or anything of that nature. It's it's disconcerting to say the least. Director Sprickett, let me reach out to the Department of Justice personally and see if I can't make a change for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Podium is open for the next person to come up. Well, not everybody stand up at once. Yeah, I wonder why they need them. <laughs> Probably because of Nadi and Rami's crew. Are we here just to observe the court? Your Honor, I'm here to watch. Very well. Well, the ladies that walked in, if you're here to see the judge, the podium is open. I know. Virgil, do you see anybody else coming in? Uh, there's ladies uh, that just walked in, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, Simmons, did, did you see anybody else out of front? No, I didn't walk out front. I didn't walk out front, but I will. I mean, I'll do that real quick. Thank you. I didn't see anybody out there when we came in. Is Roy in the room? Marshal Roy Dalton. Uh, I am, Your Honor. Let me see how you're dressed, Sunset Ford. <laughs> I am dressed in my quote unquote court martial uniform, Your Honor. And did Director Sprickett give you the thumbs up to to wear that? Uh, yeah, but that is our uniform for court, Your Honor. He is correct. Yes, Your Honor. Very well. Thank yeah. you, Roy. He oh, just needs to visit the barber so after sorry. this. I, I, Indeed. I don't know. I, I disagree with that, Your Honor, wholeheartedly, but um, your advice and counsel is always very dear to my heart. 
I appreciate that. Maybe a little pomade would help too. Well, he's going through a tough time, Your Honor. Very well understood. As a matter of fact, I do have one more uh, topic. Sheriff Judy, would you please come back to the podium? Jesus. Yes, Your Honor. Oh. Apparently, he really wants me to sit in your lap. Uh... Miss, are you okay over there? You found a seat? <laughs> I believe she was trying to sit I believe, lap. I believe she found a couple of seats, Your Honor. Very well. So what I'm trying Sheriff to do Judah, is... now that you had all this uh, land under your uh, under your belt, uh, give me an update on uh, Native Affairs. Have you we had any issues? Uh, we haven't had any issues whatsoever, or have even seen the Comanche presence in days. We don't know what happened to them, don't know where they are. I hear that there's some still here. But the ones that were a problem, we haven't seen anything about them. Things with Cherokee, they've always been calm, and it seems like they're more calm now. They have a good relationship with the civilians in our surrounding areas. So they've been staying to themselves and not causing any problems. I believe Judge, the Honorable Judge Bamford's ruling for their affairs uh, is giving them a large change of heart, much needed. No uh, intended, how about right? the border, Sheriff Judah? Now that you share a border with another country... Have you even made a presence of that border yet? I've been there a couple times, but I haven't seen anybody on the opposite side whenever I uh, make my rounds through there. I normally have a couple deputies that go by that way, and they'll stay at the border waiting to see if anybody crosses. It's been quiet. Very well. Thank you, Sheriff Judah. Yes, sir. What do you think, Spricket? Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to take the podium in front of you. Please. All right. How's everybody doing tonight? Good. Lively, right. lively group Good. of people. Huh? Oh, Virgil. You're very well. Yeah, yeah, all right. So, um, as uh, Judge Ryder had said earlier, he's, uh, or I'm sorry, as I spoke to him earlier, we have. Uh, redesignated some things in the marshal's office so i just wanted to let everybody know what that is that way the people here can kind of spread it throughout the commonwealth do you mind if i do that your honor yes director spricket please you do mind i do not mind go ahead okay. i apologize all right um so we have renamed um judge Ryder was once the head marshal along with uh jed cooper and myself those are the three head marshals of uh, the marshal service um, that have existed. Uh, we're renaming the head marshal position to director. Ooh, too soon. <laughs> uh, the supervisory marshal currently will be moved to deputy director, and we are adding two new ranks of supervisory field marshal, uh, which will oversee the marshals uh, and the deputy <laughs> marshals, mainly focusing on the new deputy marshals that come into the office for their training and uh, ability to, to gain the hat and badge. Um, so with that said, um, Marshal Simmons has been promoted to the rank of Supervisory Field Marshal. Um, Delilah Dalton has taken Deputy Director from as Supervisory Marshal just had a name change. And uh, there was two other marshals in consideration for the second Supervisory Field Marshal position. And uh, we've made the decision on that. Um, so Roy Dalton, if you could join me. After this, you're going to get your hair cut. Uh, Roy comes to the Marshal Service from Lemoyne Sheriff's Office, um, where he served as Assistant Deputy all the way to the rank of Interim Undersheriff. Uh, as he joined the Marshal Service in late August. Is that correct? Early October, Director. Early October. Okay. Fair enough. You sure about that? Very sure about that. October okay. 10th. Okay. October 10th. Um, he has served the Commonwealth day in and day out as a deputy marshal and a marshal. Uh, we have the confidence in him that he can 
lead the new deputy marshals in the direction that we'd like the office to be in and maintain. And uh, I would like to congratulate him on his promotion to supervisory field marshal. Congratulations, Roy. Congratulations. Supervisory field marshal Roy Dalton. Congratulations. Woo. Thank you very much, Director. Your Honor. Hey. That's yeah. uh that's quite Bob something. Wins. Director Adelaide, Sprick, thank you very much Adelaide for sharing. Roy, I'm proud of speak you. To you. Thank you very much, Your Honor. I I won't let you down. Now? Yeah, I guess. Ah, I wish you had. Saloon. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a that is a big deal right there. For those that have never worn a badge, I, I assure you that's a big deal. Yeah. Right, if you ever see or privately if you ever see Roy, congratulate the man. That's that's amazing. Uh with that being said, to keep the clock going and not to impede on what just happened, that was awesome. Uh the podium is now open for the next person to talk to the judge if needed. Miss Thank you very much, Simmons. Yes, ma'am. All right, Your Honor. Uh, my name is Dr. Wachi Thonka. I am currently uh, trained to become with the uh, Cherokee. So, and I'm also a doctor here for the Commonwealth within the Blackwater's doctor's office um, as my primary office. Very well. Um, I, I did want to bring up a concern, sir. Um, so I know you just spoke of the uh, cases with the border incident. Um, just the past two or three days, there's been uh, a few, I guess we could say, Mexican bandits that came across. Is there things that are being done to help ensure that us citizens are going to be okay from this? And uh, hopefully maybe some extra manpower for the deputies here in the Blackwater, because they, it seemed they were severely overnumbered. Poor deputies. They've got I plenty. can tell you, uh, <laughs> whispers in the wind, if you will, through the de Department of Justice of the United States, uh, there has been some form of uh, turmoil down in Mexico. I I'm unaware or unsure, nor is it really something that was brought to me. However, I know they're rebuilding their army, and I know that the sheriff's office here is now the Western Sheriff's Office, uh, and they've just gone through a very big change over the last day or so. What I can do is uh, talk to the sheriff. Uh, he was in the room. I don't know where he went. And I can tell him that we need to have that border mans once we have personnel that can patrol and hold the town down. Right now, my biggest concern is our majority town, San Anita, Blackwater, Armadillo, uh, followed by some patrols. We need folks in the roads to stop the highway robberies. But I do agree the border does need attention. And if we can spare a man or two, uh, I'll be sure to have a man or two at that border because I do agree we don't need those banditos coming across causing all sorts of heinous. We already have our own outlaws to deal with. We don't need more. Absolutely. With that uh, being said, though, ma'am, did you get a description of what they was riding, a wagon or clothing? Uh, I, I did, sir. So uh, I provided it with, um, I believe, a newer deputy. I, I'm sorry, I did not catch his name um, as many seem to be coming through, which is great to see, but um, they were wearing, uh, sort of similar to you, sir. They were wearing, uh, all black dusters with red snakes on their jackets. And then they had, uh, brand bandanas and then they wore, uh, sort of blackish sombreros. And, uh, after the shooting, uh, right as I was trying to go help a couple of the sheriffs, uh, they rode off screaming, Viva la me. Viva la me. Your Honor, we can add the border onto our patrol route. If you have the, the power to do that with your men, Director, I would be much appreciated, and so would the citizens of the Commonwealth. Um, and then I guess uh, another topic to uh, go separate from this one. Um, I know there's talks of the Comanche. Um, I'm not sure if any of you have any delegates that work closely with them. Uh, as being with the Cherokee, who uh, we have often ourselves had issues with Comanche, I know that the Comanche seem to be having a turmoil of their own. Um, many seem to be leaving due to their uh, nature, not holding to the uh, traditions of our people. <laughs> so, I'm oh, not sure oop. if that could be of value to you. 
any information is valuable to uh, the lawmen that look into those things and myself that has to deal with it once you're in the room. So I do appreciate everything you brought forth. Of course. That's all I have to say here at this time, Your Honor. Thank you, miss. Thank you. I promise not to sit in your lap this time. Yeah, we call that politically correct. <laughs> all right. Does anybody else have anything for the judge or the director of the marshal service while we're in here? Very well. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking the, the time to come down to Blackwater from Get our open court. Lap. I'm going to go ahead and uh, <coughs> adjourn this here court session. And I appreciate y'all for joining us. Uh, safe travels back to where it is you come from. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Why were you Thank sitting you, in Your my Honor. lap, young man? Thank you, Your Honor. Put some oh, nice and warm. warm. Put some nice and warm lap. Yeah, I ain't fucking Santa Claus, that's for damn sure. I wish you would've let me sit on your lap when I was a kid, you know? Damn, yeah. thanks for damn, uh... Well, you didn't fucking deserve it, you know that. <laughs> Breton. You get your last up back, bitch. You want a Breton? Oh, yeah. Gotta give her back her... Uh, I love Bretons. Sorry, oh, here you shame. go. Thank hey, you. I'm from the desert, man. Yeah, but, uh, Thank you very much. Right, You're so welcome. Thank you for handing it over. Mm -hmm. right. see. I have a fan okay. in my hand. My answer's done. I'm gonna go talk start. to good uh, my good old buddy Virgil. Where is he? Oh, still inside. Yeah, I probably reckon so. Alright. Well, we'll be over by the stables. Alright. I have no idea. What could you, uh, fuck? I don't know what my fucking telegram number is. I thought you went to the fucking station and got it. I did. Oh, I, I remember it now. It's XO958. Alright, we'll be at the stable. Hey, Virgil, do you need my telegram? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's XO958. XO ninety fifty eight. Yeah, you got it. Got it, Mr. Reynolds. Thank you. All right, have a good one. Oh shit, is that Adam? I opened up a spot. All right, so probably gonna close up in here and not just leave abruptly. And go see what we can get into his car load tonight. Mac, where are you, my boy? Yeah, definitely have some uh, advancements on that. Did a little bit of uh, out of character. <clears throat> Not out of character. Off stream work today <laughs> with that, so. We, uh. Definitely some big moves will be coming with that. Uh, the thing, uh, you want to grab your horse real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the plan is definitely coming together. Uh, well, I'm gonna do what I've always done to you, my boy. I'm gonna abandon you for a little while. <laughs> oh, all right. I love you, son. You know kind that. Of, kind of used to it at this point, you know. Yeah, well, you know I love you. Your daddy, don't you know? It's it's best for you. There can't be two of us around town. Did you, uh, settle a little rooster or you just gonna keep the hundred bucks? I'm gonna keep the fucking hundred no bucks, I'm broke. Spiritual <laughs> I've got two hundred and twenty dollars and that's all I've got. Whoa. Terry. 
bugging. All right, my boy. I'll see you in another couple weeks. It's so dark over here. Holy. Have a good one. You too. Love tell, you, daddy. tell your wife I love her. What? I waited 18 years to do that. What the fuck was that for? You know that took me a while to get up. I'm getting old. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> the instant karma. Uh, Matt, come here. Fucking yes, You go. Oh. What the fuck? You, see that you ever fucking that? do that again, I'll fucking whoop your ass, boy. You hear me? Do you know, do you know all right, all right. It was worth it for the one time. All right. What the fuck did you do, Matt? I just go for it. So this is my OG character that I played for in the server for like six months before um, I became Carlo. And uh, that's my son. That's Mac Wilder. So I used to work with them as a horse trainer and an attorney. And yeah, so let's switch over to Carlo real quick. Yep, so I was uh, Martin Reynolds. I first joined the server. I was a, I was a cop in Lemoyne County and then uh, became an attorney, <clears throat> actually. So I did that for quite a bit. Um, that's how I actually met Carice, who plays Tilly. Was She was an attorney. Um, that's how I met most of everybody in our family. So um, Camillo was, um, he was a lieutenant there in um, West Elizabeth. Um, Angelo was a captain. Pauly was a lieutenant. Uh, Vito. Vito was a, was a lieutenant there in West Elizabeth. I mean, that's how we all met, so. At least that's how I met all of them. So, it was definitely, uh, it was good to be back there. I don't have to log in as Martin as much because it's too much fun being Carlo. As you can see, I did some uh, off-stream mining, so <clears throat> got to try and get my shitty Italian accent back. Yeah, so a lot of them, like uh, Angelo and Tilly and Vito and Mr. Porgini, Al, they uh, they have all role played together for years. I was invited to come with them because of Camillo and the role play that we did. So it was, uh, I mean, they have years of role playing together. So the DOJ is completely screwed. Like, I wouldn't say horrible use of words. It's completely backwards to where it was, and backwards meaning, like, different. So when I was, uh, last year when I was an attorney, like, you know, you would have uh, a lot of folks that on judicial hold, and it was, you know, pretty easy to, like, have court and do things. And it's gotten a little complex with the telegram system, but... All big things coming. Uh, a lot of hard work behind the scenes from the staff who are trying to uh, streamline the process to hold folks accountable. I mean, because let's face it, you can't sustain, you know, a, a population that's just going balls to the walls with crime, like loving to death. Naughty screws doing. Like, they're going to have to face some sort of persecution because of it. So. My character as a, you know, former lawman and, you know, the job that he has is, of course, going to advocate.
Uh, Mr. Angelo. No, it's fucking Carlo. Who are you talking to? Uh, I'm sorry, it's dark. I can't see shit. Yeah, well... Sorry, Mr. Carlo. You talk, eh? Don't fucking call oh. me Angelo. My fault, Mr. Carlo. My fault. Uh, my apologies now, alright? Yeah, you said Met it no six offense. times, eh? Hey, well, I'm just making sure, alright? Yeah, okay. You take care now. You too. What are you up to? Uh, I was just doing a little hunting, but then, uh... It's a little weird, um, turtles. You gotta put a bullet in them to kill them right now, so... Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get some food at the Bastille, and, uh, you need help with anything? No, I'm good. Thank you, though. Alrighty, just let me know. Yep, yeah, have a good one, eh? Be you safe. Well. Always, sir, you too. Thank you. Yeah, no, dude, there's so much good RP here. Like, I really, really hope that we can get back to a system where we were last year with, like, my attorney character is a freaking hoot. Like, it's it's fun to be him because he's just, he's crass. Like, he's a really, he got a good heart, whatever, but just super crass and um, kind of similar traits to Carlo, but not as bad. Like, Carlo's just a dick to be a dick because he can, but I don't know. But, like, court RP and, like, judicial RP is actually really freaking exciting. It's, it's fun to sit there and, you know, put the work in to go out and meet folks, interview them, and, you know, help prove innocence of people. Oh, Morag. Carlo and Morag had a really rough, uh, <laughs> start, so, um, Morag is, Morag is wonderful. It's, it's hilarious. I, I love role-playing with Morag. I really would like to, uh, be able to stream my attorney character more and really showcase kind of what goes on in, uh, in the DOJ. I've got all this stuff to do it. I just need to find Chuck and make it. Got a... So I found out I needed gold bars. I went out and... Went out and got gold bars. So... With the gold bars and the gun gems, should be able to make it, but... Yeah. Definitely gonna be some good RP. So, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I definitely got some progress made on the plan as far as making it happen. It is all of the things that needed to be done are in motion as far as some of the crucial steps, and I'm really trying to dance around it because I don't want to give it up. So, let's just say it'll be, it'll be really cool. Shotgun. Yeah, seriously. All I'm going to have to do is throw an axe at somebody if I don't have it. with you and Morag on the same screen is too funny. Dude, Morag gives wonderful RP, like... When Morag face, first came around, like I said, Morag and uh, Carlo did not mesh well together. Um, so, it was really standoffish between the two of them. But Morag and Carlo kind of bonded in a really back-assward way at uh, Mardi Gras. So... 
since then, Carlos been uh, <clears throat> hanging out with Morag quite a bit more. Super interesting getting a chance to see some illegal parts of the game through other PvP. Yeah. So, like, the complexity of the server as far as the legal side, um, man, it'll blow your mind. Like, Court RP is super, super legit. Really looking forward to some of that coming back and actually being able to argue cases in front of, you know, a bunch of folks. We had some really highlight cases last year, and I actually was... Um, one of the attorneys for one of them, so it was a really big corruption case involving a doctor. Yeah, where the fuck is everybody? Yeah, that case was super complex. It was literally weeks of work to uh, build the case and, you know, get all this call it stuff that I needed to, uh, all my facts. Because believe it or not, <clears throat> getting information in, uh, you know, the least meta way possible. Excuse me. Meaning, like, going around, finding people when they're awake, coordinating with them. Hello. You know, getting their statements, getting them to agree to testify at court is probably enough to make you want to pull your hair out. Really wish I streamed back then because it would have been gold. Like some of those cases were... Everybody who puts in... Hey, how you doing, friend? Yeah, what's up? I don't know, is it a crime to say how you doing? I said, yeah, what's up? No, you sounded aggressive when you said it, that's all. What, is this who I think it is? Yeah, what's up? Is this Carlo? Yeah, what's up? Hey, how you doing, how you doing? Yeah, good. You gonna rethink what you said to me? Uh, You know I talk like this, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, it's just uh, I thought you was, uh, you know, coming off a little aggressive, that's all. No, I'm from fucking New York, what do you expect? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, you know, I just, uh, I thought you might have, uh, you know, I might have pissed you off in some way, some shape or form. No, if you pissed me off, I would have told you. Don't you think that? Don't you think I'd give you that respect? No, yeah, you probably would, to be honest with you. Love that hat. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. I was just talking to, uh, so Mr. What's up, Porgini huh? himself. Oh, hey, really? you know, just, yeah, yeah, over at, uh, his, you know, the uh, Porgini house. Yeah, I don't think he's around. I thought he was out of town, so you might have uh, been talking to somebody else. Ain't the real boss there? No, no, I, uh, I mean Angelo. Yeah, he ain't Mr. Poggini himself. Angelo's the no, same no, fucking no, yeah, rank yeah, yeah, yeah. as me. No, don't yeah, fucking you know, blow his head up, okay? He don't fucking need that. <laughs> ah, sheesh. I guess uh, it'll all go to his head. You say it like it ain't already happened, friend. I, uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't really uh, know much about the... The poor genies. I used to, uh, you know, been talking to Camillo, you, and uh, Mr. Angelo himself. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, there's a lot to learn, but, uh, just know we're all real good businessmen. We, uh, all take business, you know, business first mindsets, and, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Nothing, uh, really to see here. Hello, uh, sir. Yeah, what, what you been up to? Sorry, my horse is in the middle of the fucking... Oh, yeah, wait. what's up, Red? How can I help you? Oh, oh wait, you're a... Oh, you... You said a train, you dressed up like a train? You, he looks a little... Like, he looks like he could be driving a train. You want to yeah, drive train a on your mother. You keep talking to me like that. Oh. My mother is dead and buried. You, I mean, it'd be really easy to drive a train over. Yeah, what a shame. <laughs> what, what's up, Red? I'm here patronizing your goddamn businesses. Yeah, do you need some guns? Can you talk to me like that? No, I wanted some of the other stuff, but we'll talk about that another time. I mean, uh, okay. All right, Carlo, <laughs> I'm going to have a talk with Mr. Red. Oh, oh now is right, Mr. Porgy, now take care. Up? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you later, right? Nice, eh? Yeah, yeah, have a nice day. All right, follow me, Red. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let me go get some different clothes on since I look like a fucking train conductor. Well, listen, listen, well, I'm, I just need to know one thing. Come here. No, you're not my boss. Well, That's I'm your customer. Asleep. Yeah, well, the customer ain't always right. I'm sorry. Oh, I love you. <laughs> oh, what's your name? By the way, you seem like a good guy. I just need to know how much you're selling the perk. 
I said not here and not in this, okay? We'll have a chat another place. Okay. Well, where's where's another place? You wait your uh, sorry ass right here. Let me get some other clothes on and I'll well, I need uh, to wait take for you to Tilly it. across the street. So. Okay. Well, you can stay right there then. I'll be right back. Back you. Yeah, I your love mother. You. Oh, red. I used to RP with him a lot. He actually was an attorney with me um, on my other character, and then he got fired for doing red things. They disbarred him. Yeah, completely disbarred him. Uh, definitely feeling black tonight. Blend in and shoot people. Yeah, so, uh, same. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Where's Tilly? You said she's uh, at the best deal? She, we were waiting for her. We were supposed to do a deal. Yeah, she might be over here at the manor. No, she ran, she ran down the street towards the train tracks. It's on the other side of town. Yeah, she might be over here at the manor. Okay. If Angelo's over there, like uh, that, that that schmuck was telling me, so. Oh, I see. I'm not gonna get whacked, am I? No, if I was gonna fucking shoot you, Red, I'd do it right in front of the cops so they know it was me. They're so straightforward. I love it. <laughs> you know what I find it? You know what I find, frankly, insulting though. What's what? that? They added a new record to the phonograph, and they called it Italian Classics, but it's one fucking song. Yeah. Wow. Or just on repeat, huh? Yeah. It's pretty insulting. That's some crap. It is a little insulting, considering when I've added one for the Irish music, it's an hour long. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, well, uh, I guess they're just saying that Irish know how to fucking drink better. Which is true, because I get a couple, two, three drinks in me, and I'm fucking, I'm swinging people. That's true. We Irish, we know how to handle ourselves when we're drunk. I think that's, uh... We do have to hurry back, though, because I do need to speak to Tilly. Yeah, I think Tilly's over here. She said she'd be right back to the Bastille. Yeah, you know Tilly. She ain't uh, got a good concept of time. <sighs> Love her to death. Oh my god, Fred. How's things doing for you? Have you, uh... You explored any of the darker sides of things, or this is what you're looking to do, is uh, get in here and do that? That'd be this. You interested in the manufacturing, or just the slinging? The slinging. I like being in the back end. Sure. Oh, see, this is the Porcini's headquarters. Okay. Yeah, this is our house. Yeah, yeah, I broke in. You broke into you their broke house? In? Yeah, I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, I, I, I would be fucking with me if I was you. This wagon is quite yellow. <clears throat> oh, wow. Oh, well, well, well. Look who it is, is huh? Speak of the devil. That's what I said. Where's there Tilly at? I'm the devil. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hi. How's it going? Oh, I'm Hi. here for business. All right, follow me, Red. Are these your Beautiful business partners house. or are they your friends that is just accompanying you? That's my wife and my employee. All right. Well, the less people, the better, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful, this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Quite stunning. Go ahead and sit. I'll stand. You're pregnant. You there's sit. plenty of seats. Oh, just take a seat. There's literally enough seats. Extra seat. Look at that. I can't get through there. All right, so I take it you're looking to, uh, you tell me, what is it that you're here for? Go fire some alcohol. Okay, how, what's your, uh, your quantity desire? That depends on the price. Per. Hmm. My question first, and I can tell you what the price is. Uh, 
How much are you looking as to spend as I can is afford. what I'm saying. Hmm. I would say not more than 500. That'd be my max. 500? Oh, God. I don't know that, uh... I could give you 34 of them for 500. Comes out to a little under $15 a piece. On peak times, I'm getting like uh, $30 a fucking jug. On off times, I'm getting like 19 to 20 Hmm. Uh, you know what? Let's do. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Just a second. So, ladies, uh, mm. what has this man done to uh, cast a spell on you to convince you to stay around him? Yeah, you know, he just hired me today, so he gave me a job. You know, it's my first day in county. Loyalty. Mm. Hmm? <sighs> you bring somebody with little experience of our business, Red, to the fucking table with you. I'll fucking I'm just buying some alcohol. Sir. Don't worry, I won't say nothing. I don't know what there is to say. I'm just buying some alcohol. I don't know what you're talking about. Have we talked about anything illicit? Mm, I don't think so. I don't plan on talking about anything illicit. How about you? Yeah, no. That's what I thought. I you guys run so. a distillery. So, what was it that you were uh, postulating your little peanut brain there? You got a I'm counter offer for me, or what? I'll take thirty at four fifty. Four dollars and fifty cents. No, 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 no. Thirty for four hundred and fifty dollars. That's fifteen dollars a bottle, which is slightly more than you're than you were asking for. All right. It's actually like uh, 15 cents less, but I ain't gonna fucking cry over oh, I thought you note. said it was about- I thought you said it was just under- I It was like $15.20, and 20 cents, but it ain't enough to fucking, you know, get all worked all up right. about. It'll work. All right. So, when can I expect that? Right now. Oh, well, I don't have the money right now. You have to- you have to wait until I get back to Blackwater, or come deliver it there. All right, well, when you come back with the money, you let me know. Okay. We're good for it, you know that. All right. Haven't uh, haven't decided if I'm gonna stay in the uh, manufacturing. I think I'm gonna turn that over to somebody else. But that's probably smart. That's how most people. That's how most people get in trouble. Yeah, especially with me owning a gun shop. You know. Oh yeah, that's that's the hard stuff. See, I'm not gonna be selling the locals. That's also how you get in trouble. Yeah, you gotta cook it up and uh, make your recipes. Mm-hmm. It's better to sell to a fine gentleman like yourself who would pay, you know, thirty, forty dollars a bottle. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But I ain't trying to screw you over. That's why I'm giving you fair market price. That's you know you're a good man. I'll 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 accept you sure the you ain't, slight. Uh, hold on to these price. and wait until uh, wait until uh, your mother comes around. My what? Your mother. Oh, what was wrong? What, what was you know you know, you know I, what I'm I, talking I, about all you know, I don't know what you're talking about. Thirty's kind of like uh, an interesting number. What do you mean? Hmm. Don't don't play me for a fool, Mister Clark. I really don't know what you mean. Yeah, good. What do you mean, good? <laughs> this, this conversation has gotten confusing. But Who's my mother and why is 30 an interesting number? I don't know. I just thought 34 was an odd number to, to buy, so I thought 30 would be better. You okay? Where Whatever are we going? you say, Mr. Clock. Oh, I'm why taking you, you back to the why fucking... Why are you the... so suspicious? Pardon? Why are you so suspicious of me? Oh, I wonder why. The the second time I fucking ever saw you, you had your fucking uh, now wife tied to the back of a fucking horse and she was screaming, Help! I'm getting fucking kidnapped! Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, of course I'm gonna be suspicious of you, you fucking freak. Well, now she's married and pregnant. Oh god. Madam. Madam, I don't envy you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, if, if, if from anything, it's always honest, eh? <laughs> Ain't that right, Mr. Clark? Yeah, that's true. 
That's true. You are an honest man. I saw uh, a notice. Uh, Peter Makani has, uh, I guess, packed up his things and left town. I have seen that same notice. Looks like I'm going to be mayor of Blackwater after all. Yeah, perhaps. One of the elections, eh? Next March. month. I spoke to the judges myself. The same judges who disbarred you, eh? Oh, water under the bridge. Politics is what I was made for, good boy. Yeah. Well, I, I wish you good luck. Thank you. I'm gonna, a gentleman right here in front of us. Uh, keep it down for you to throw him one. Oh, yeah, the well, bear? I will be back You're with your money at some point soon. Maybe there'll be a, uh, another competitor that you never considered that comes out of the woodworks, huh? Oh, yeah? Who knows? Well, you have to oh, head co co oh, uh, command the same respect. You got me. Uh, you got me. Oh, there she is. Good. Here's Tilly. Yeah. Crazy, crazy man. That was my uh, confused Tilly voice. <laughs> okay. It worked. Oh. <laughs> Did, I Tell guess. me, you've got some riffraff here to speak with you. Of course, I uh -oh. always have riffraff here to speak with you. I have to go on the train soon. I'm catering the train. Oh. Listen, Hello, Carla. listen. I need, me? I need Nikita, dirty with you. Fucking toot the sweet. Yes, I'm you. Can you tell Silvio to go outside and meet at the stables? Silvio, go outside. Hello? Okay. Mm, you see him anywhere? No, I have not seen him. So I obviously, Carlo doesn't remember that because he never got a, he never got, what's the word I'm thinking of, revived. So he has no knowledge that that happened. You put any taught into the things we talked about earlier? Ah, I did. But, uh, well, like I told you, we we're going to do it anyway. Take a seat. Okay. Take your head off. You ain't gotta be so suspicious looking. So here's the thing. I'm gonna go over the plan with you again one more time, okay? Mm-hmm. So we're going to hash out what we're going to do as far as, uh, I think it's best as far as, you know, him coming to you, that in some way, shape, or form, it looks like, uh, looks like a gunshot wound or something, right? At that mm -hmm. point, I'm going to need you to telegram the marshal's office, or, well, not the marshal's office, the fucking, the police department, and let them know that you've got, uh, somebody here who looks like they've, uh, sustained a gunshot wound. Okay? That, that way they come. Because we gotta make sure that the fucking police department knows that that's Gentleman Jones. That You're gonna ask for an ID. And then, uh, he just ain't gonna have a pause because of the shit I gave him. You're gonna write up that death certificate. And then, uh, the rest is history. That's easy enough. But what city do you want to do this in? Yeah? Yeah, I think that's only, uh, fit. Because I ain't gonna be anywhere else, so, you know. It, it may be tonight, it may be tomorrow. I think we still got a little bit of planning to do to make sure this ain't fucking sloppy. But yeah. as long as we know what, uh, you know, what the roles and responsibilities is of each each other, you know, we shouldn't really have any issues. But you realize the risk you're taking. Yeah, I know the risk. That's something okay. I've already thought about in wait. But I still owe all of you uh, much more than this, so... I don't think you understand just how uh, big of a role you play in all of this. You know that, Nikita? Yeah, I understand. Like, and I just came up with this stupid fucking plan. Like, uh, let's hope it fucking works out. But the thing oh. is, like, oof, it's, uh... If anybody outside of you and me, and the people that I choose to share this with, get word or wind of this, you're gonna be on a fucking noose, so... Keep your lips shut. Look. There's already a lot of things that I'm keeping my mouth shut about, and this is just one of them. Used to it. I ain't saying that to you as a threat. I'm saying that to you to caution you. That even cordial conversations with Camillo, it, it, I wouldn't recommend. So, oh, this is true. Not even the family knows about this, yeah? Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna know about it. It's gonna stay between you and me. And, uh, you know... 
my friends. Well, you know what's best. And uh, I trust you. And I'm glad that you trust me as well. At least for this. Yeah, I mean, you've been around the family for quite some time. And uh, truth is, if I couldn't trust you, and you was going to do something to, you know, jam me up, we'll call it, you'd have fucking done it by now. That's for damn sure. Just at least give me a few hours notice from when you're going to put us off. Yeah, yeah that's why I, I want to talk to them and let them know what the plan is. I'll be so, around the rest of the night. I'll let you know if it's even going to be tonight, but I prefer it gets done on Sunday. That way, uh, you know, conveniently it's on a, you know, he dies on a Sunday. Yeah, I can do that as well. But just be prepared for either tonight or tomorrow. Either way, it's going to be done. Yeah, just be sure you send me a telegram to let me know. Are you going to be uh, stationed here in St. Denis for most of the night? For the whole night. I don't want to send you a telegram right before. Because if I send you a telegram and God forbid they ever fucking catch wind of this and they start fucking investigating it, it's going to be pretty fucking convenient, even if it's just uh, like a cryptic telegram that I sent you one right beforehand. I don't want to make it look like you have any fucking knowledge. Yeah. Just uh, look for me. I'll be anywhere from the Bastille to the doctor's uh, office to maybe even Rhodes. But that's about it. So this shit I'm gonna give, right? It's gonna slow his heart down, and uh, I'm gonna be—I'm gonna make sure that he keeps it in his pocket, and it's uh, evidently clear that he's drank it when, uh, you know, when he's presented to you. That way, in your report, you can write that you found this uh, this bottle of Wastabi Pa, whatever it's fucking called, and uh, you know, that way, if it does ever fucking come back, you know, we can easily write it down that it was because his heart was so fucking slowed. That way we're all protected, and he's exactly. back on the noose, and we are set free. No, we don't want to put him back on the fucking noose. The what? plan is that he fucking escapes that I fucking noose. I understand that, but worst case scenario, if it happens like that. Yeah. I'll let you know when oh. I know more. <clears throat> I've got to let them know that I got the approval from you. Yeah, please do. And, okay. uh, send my regards to him. Sad to see it has to happen like this, but hey, this is the only thing I can do for him helping me out so much. Yeah. Well, you run along. I'll uh, I'll come and find you when when I got more to give. Okay. Yeah. Be safe. All right, you too, Nikita. So, <clears throat> out of character, Nikita had to apply to be corrupt because she is a doctor. Um, she was given that permission, with the understanding that if she gets caught. It means that she gets killed. So she is taking a big risk. She gets literally hanged. So she is taking a huge risk for her character uh, to do something corrupt like this. But the plan is to not be sloppy about it. If we can be as clean as possible with it and, you know, make sure all of the things that I've come up with, it doesn't make it look like she's guilty. Yeah, I'm really hoping it plays out. Like, this is the great thing about RP, is that you can literally write your own stories with this stuff. Like, it's... It's fucking... I love it. Nikita is literally... Absolutely a real one. Hey, how you doing? So Nikita came to us. Uh, she was one of the OG Bastille employees when the year started. And, uh... Nikita has always been, like, part of the family. Um, as much as you can be when you're not an Italian. Um, yeah, it's about Gentleman Jones. Uh, she chose to leave to go be a doctor, and naturally, this fits in a way that she can, you know, give back to the family. <coughs> yeah, it's permission from, uh, you know, from server staff. And it can't just be, like, the idea isn't, like... You can't apply for corruption just to rob stores. You can't apply for corruption just to be, like, your everyday criminal. It's got to be involvement with things like this. And this is going to be just an absolute freaking scene if we get this played off. And she submits the death certificate and, you know, he's buried. Um, there's still some coordination to do. Um, 
got to try and get a hold of um, Carlo's friend who is the Undertaker. So if we can get a hold of him and have the Undertaker set up, have Nikita do the death certificate, we can fake him getting buried, and he gets off scotch-free. If the Undertaker doesn't get involved, there are still some questions on what happens to him after that fact. Um, because I don't know, my character doesn't know what happens to somebody absent of an Undertaker. But, it'll still at least, uh, make for a fucking damn good story. Big Stout, appreciate the cheers, brother. You said, getting hanged means permadeath for the other character. Correct. That is a permadeath. So when you are hanged, um, your character dies. And if you do corruption as a lawman or a doctor or something like that, um, in the server... Without the permission, you're basically, like, blackballed from doing it. What's it mean for them to be corrupt? Corrupt would be doing things like this. Like, giving information to us. Giving, uh, you know, supplies to us. Giving, doing services, off-the-book medical procedures, stuff like that. That is all what being corrupt as a doctor would mean. You know, it's obviously different for a lawman, um, but kind of along the same lines. You know, Nikita fits that role, in my opinion, perfectly because of her allegiance to the family, because the family took her in when, you know, she first came here to the Commonwealth. And, like, uh, Carlo just gave Nikita, like, almost $6,000 uh, $6, to borrow. So it's almost like she's indebted to Carlo, too. So that's another element of it. She's really risking a lot, then. Damn, that's her. It is. And that's what's uh, so exciting about all of this is because it's not a... It's not a, you know, guaranteed win situation. Like, some bad shit could absolutely happen here. Like, really bad stuff. Like, her character could be perma. But that's why I'm... My character is taking it as serious as he can. Um, <clears throat> because of it. If someone is about to get hanged, can their gang friends or friends try to save them at the hanging? Or... <sighs> it's really a gray area. Good to you. you know. A lot of these locations and... I mean, you could break her out, and she could go on the run, but it just comes down to a quality of life thing, and it... That is a question I don't really know how to answer personally. But I would say that... I don't think she would have the choice. It would be unprecedented, for sure. That's, uh, that's the plan. I'm really, uh, looking forward to seeing how it plays out. I can't guarantee success for anybody. But nobody can say that, you know, Carlo didn't fucking come up with a damn good plan and a damn good chance besides him just turning himself in or, you know, gunning down a lot of lawmen. Like, this gives a lot of people, you know, an opportunity for RP. Yeah, Carlo? But, yeah, how you boys doing? Oh, quite all right. Is that still purple? You, you still no, purple? it's, uh, black and gray. Alright, okay. alright, right, right. you look good now. You look good now. Yeah, thank you. What you look you guys good always, to? man. Don't listen to Harry. You don't look good all the only today. I look I reckon you look good with yellow. In yellow. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. Had honestly, yellow honestly, I was, yeah. Uh, man, could, could you like smack on some full yellow? Just like uh f like full yellow preferably. I think Why, so you guys really can fucking see me pick me out in the crowd? No. Much, so we don't lose you all the time. Yeah, no, definitely. All right. How you been, well, uh, I didn't know you right? guys was the fashion police. I thought you was the Saint Denis Man, police. Look, look at us. Look how fashionable we are. There's nothing else to do. To do. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'm sorry that uh, you guys do so good and keep all the criminals off the streets. Yeah, me too. Fuck, You know man. what you can do? You can keep walking around and uh, collecting your paycheck and come see me when you get the monies to buy some guns, eh? Oh, I've got a bit of money in my bank. Uh, I might but, pop around there. You know, I'll be open. All right, I don't know shit. Yeah. I need to stop spending right. money at your shop. Fuck me. No, you don't. Don't fucking lie to yourself. <laughs> really hope this works, because I doubt anyone would ever attempt trying something like this. No, and that's the cool thing. Like, all of the... And that's the difference. Like, you know, the poor genies, we do crime. We absolutely do crime. But we're not robbing three banks a night. We're not robbing, you know, this and that. Like, it is this kind of slow burn, you know, involving a lot of folks... You know, giving RP to people. Like, that's what that's what my definition of crime is, at least for my character. And the role that he plays as a, you know, a gun owner, a gun shop owner. 
Like, I don't know. Could we go out and, you know, rob stores? Sure. But it's just, in order to have the relationships with the, you know, the police like, you know, we do, you know, it's important that we're not being so overt about it like, you know, Nadi and Rami's characters do. Because, you know, they're not established in the same way that we are. I mean, we already get scrutiny enough being, you know, Italians. You know, people just assume we're doing crime. And a lot of that may just be, like, uh, people know that we are criminals because of OOC stuff, but... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to Mima trying to, uh, make that happen. So, um, I have... Mima asked me if I wanted to know what um, she had planned, and I told her no. That I am really looking for the story behind it. And, uh, man, like, that story is just going to be incredible. Let's see what they have to say. Should I pursue this? Yes. 100%. Please. This is what I want. I Please sense do. Doubt. Okay. Oh, sir. And you Hello? know what? I've got to get on the train. Carlo will definitely uh, fill you in on anything you need to know. Yeah. This Sounds is good. Uh, he is a made man, okay? He knows quite a bit. Yeah. Carlo. Yeah, what's uh, up, Tilly? Uh, I have to get on the train and uh, congratulations on your new on your new property, okay? You leaving Tilly? Tilly. Tilly. Tilly, are you leaving? Uh, oh, you got yeah, a catering yeah, event, yeah. right? You got a catering event, right? Oh. I do, I do. Like I'm I, sorry, I'm I had super a fucking sock in my mouth. No, that's okay. That's okay. Carlo, I'm very, very... What's that? I'm very... I'm very... Run with me! I think I'm running, let's go. That I'm very impressed with Nikita, by the way. Yeah, that she's, uh, taking this step. Conversations from a couple of us... Alright, walk. Before I go. You excited that she's taking this step? Yes, I am. Yeah, I am very... Mm-hmm. I'm doing what I can to minimize the risk. That way she don't fucking face the noose. So just know, know that I ain't gonna be, uh... Good. I ain't gonna be sloppy with it. Please don't, because you know what? I will fucking lose my mind if anything happens to that woman, okay? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna mm -hmm. fucking make sure I can do what I can to protect her. Mm -hmm. She's going to do the same for you. All okay. Right. All right, I have Say to Say so. <clears throat> Really enjoy watching the way the poor genies operate. I feel it feels very thought out and organized, but opens the RP opportunities with others. Yeah, absolutely. Like seriously, that's the idea. Like to maximize the RP for people. Like, and it's not just everybody. It's people who wanna wanna do RP the right way. Wanna like I give you know I give Naughty the ultimate credit for you know taking the opportunity to understand that this is a great you know RP building thing for a lot of folks so you know it's it's pretty it's pretty cool to me that he is actually you know gonna trust the, the plan of Carlo and hope that it plays out right love it better than watching TV or Netflix oh my god yeah what's up friend Hello. Tilly is definitely, like, a feeling of calm. Somebody said it in her stream last night. Like, Tilly literally, when you're around her, she's like the server's, uh, like, spirit animal. When you're around her, like, it, it just feels calming. <laughs> yeah, so, like, that deputy gets to hunt him, and now, like, this... It doesn't end it, like, him turning himself in. He doesn't get shot and dies. Like, he doesn't face a noose. Where like, did Vito go? There's gonna come a time when, you know, people are gonna find out that Gentleman of... Or Gentleman Jones is still alive. And it's gonna cause another opportunity for RP for people to hunt him down again. Like, it's just gonna be... It's gonna be great. How you doing, lady? Excuse me? How you doing, sir? Hello, Mr. Carlo. How you doing? Who are you? Who are you again? I have no clue who you guys are. Did you? Oh, you don't. Oh, is oh, wait. Short-term memory loss, huh? Wait a second. 
Is this... <laughs> Alex and think... Sadie? That's right. What the fuck the are you guys of... doing? I thought you In guys the... died. No, 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 no. No. I've been working on Vito's new sweater. His new sweater. I didn't realize I was screaming the whole fucking time. You could have told me. What? I didn't know that. No. Yeah, I've been screaming. Oh, okay. You just have an energetic persona, you know? There's a way about you. Yeah, where have you guys been hiding? Oh, uh, I've been working on Vito's new sweater and kind of staying awake when you guys are asleep, so... Yeah, I haven't seen Vito, have you? I have. I gave him his new sweater. <laughs> he really liked it. Yeah, I've been, hope I've been home studying law. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. Studying Big old studying no studying the law, you know. What are you gonna be an attorney? No, nope, not necessarily. It's more, you know, you gotta think about it. If you're gonna get into some dicey things, you're gonna need to know how to skirt around the law. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah. I work harder when you can work smarter. Congratulations on the shop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I finally got the keys for it. Oh, hell yeah. Well deserved. Yeah, absolutely. Now you don't have to worry mm -hmm. about shit walking off on you. Yep. What about yeah. the last guy that was down there? Yeah, the, <clears throat> I'm assuming he's out of it now. Oh, the old owner? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's dead. Oh, that's oh, good. Oh, okay. That's good now. Yeah, absolutely. It's good. Fuck that guy, right? He yeah, abandoned exactly. Me. What are you, you guys getting up to? Work. Where's Angelo? Uh, I think Angelo went to process some sugar and stuff with. Yeah, Lorenzo. they're doing sugar and cotton. I think they're doing trying to finish up all that tobacco bullshit they were doing. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna be walking around and uh, exploring, seeing what I can't get into myself. I got some uh, some information for. But Angelo and the boys, as far as uh, a train robbery, maybe. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I've been talking to a guy, so. I'll uh, fill you guys in when I get Angelo right. back. Tell him to come oh, okay. find me when yeah, he comes back. Yeah, we're going to be probably headed out here shortly anyway. Just it was uh, just coming through to say hello, and uh, we'll be around more. But, but yeah. Really we'll looking forward back. to you guys being back around. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I just am need too. to get in some sleep again. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Alexander, Sadie, don't be fucking strangers. You guys need anything, you know where it to find nice me, okay? It was nice seeing you, Carlo. You're yeah, looking you looking good. Yeah, you too, huh? Thank you. Even if you fucking stink. Oof. <laughs> good to see you too, Carlo. Come around more, please. So if you don't know, that's Tim Mac. He, uh, he's been real busy. I think, uh, streaming 5M, so... Can't blame him. How you doing, big fella? Holy shit, Carlo scared the bejesus out of me. Goddamn. You know, uh, if anybody's around? I would assume so, but I haven't run into him yet. I just, uh, arose with such a clatter. So I am uh, doing my rounds, pick up uh, you know a little bit of food, do my errands, and then uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to run into him in the next, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, All somewhere right. in there. Well, uh, you tell them to come find me. I got some real good news. Or uh, don't come find me. Send a runner, and I can meet at the same place as yesterday, maybe. I can do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I appreciate that. Real good news. Real good news. I like good news. Yeah, good. How convenient. Appreciate all the follows. Appreciate you guys sticking around here. Sorry, uh, a lot of my stuff isn't running and gunning, but we got a... Uh, oof. It's going to be pretty epic. I think Vito's around? If you put this sign out? Hey, Vito, you in here? Heh, 
thick with two C's too. Because it's a thick door. So I actually haven't gotten the chance to uh, RP with Clegg a lot. Um, but when I do, I've, I've definitely had really fucking great interactions with him. Like, he is, uh, I, I definitely see what you're saying. He just hasn't been the front and center like Nadi and Rami have. Um, I think that he's it's just my, uh, my read on the situation. Just a little slower as far as, you know, the advancement of his RP, which is exactly kind of how I am. So, I don't say that in a negative intuition, or, uh, you know what I mean, whatever that word is. That's the word. Yeah, I, I realized exactly what that was when I walked up to it. I feel like if there was going to be something hidden, it would be accessible through something like this. Not just right under our noses. Or in that window would be even better. Because I don't think it's like a teleporting area that like teleports you somewhere else. Oh, I can't jump. Imagine just sticking a still, like, right here. Nobody would ever know. I mean, you can, but... I can't afford a van. <laughs> Trying to find ways that I could get to my shop from other means. Alright, so this. Over here. Train station. We just gotta play the fucking waiting game until Naughty and them come around. It's not smart for him to show up here. Definitely good to have Plague or somebody else be the runner. what happened to him as far as, like, the Cliff Notes version of it? Is that what you're asking? Like, why he's in this predicament? Uh, 
chat. What was it? Six times attempted murder? What else? Somebody help me out here. One actual murder. Never mind then. Yeah, where are you going? I was looking to see if uh, any of the still people were around. I think they all went on the train. Yeah, I think uh, Tilly said she had a catering event. Yeah, she did. You know where Angelo train. is? Uh, I don't. I know he was in town about 30 minutes ago, so he could be any fucking way at this point. Yeah, I gotta talk to him uh, specifically about a train, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I got the read on the location of one. No shit. Yeah. Finally. Uh, why is that the greatest predictor if I'm about to do something? Yeah, what's up, friend? How are you? Oh, wow. oh hey. How's you doing? How's you doing? I just, uh, was about was on the train for like uh, two hours. Quiet, yeah, what's your name again? <laughs> so, that's Greg. Oh, I don't think uh, we've we've had the chance to really meet. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Carlo Porgini. Been dead down at the bottom. Carlo Porgini. Oh yeah. Nice to meet you, Carlo. See yeah, you too, friend. Up here. Have you uh, seen Angelo anywhere? Yeah. No. If you find him, tell him I was looking for it him. It's Friday, isn't it? That's okay. Saturday. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Appreciate it. <laughs> oh my God! Is, is he at the stable? This dude's selling right here. Yeah, what's up? What's going on, Carlo? Yeah, was you just selling? No, no. Oh, okay. Where is everybody? Uh. Howdy, uh, fellas. Yeah, how are you? Um, do you work at the Bastille? No, but uh, my family does. Okay, thank you. What do you do? You need something? Um, this fellow here does. He's um fresh off the boat. I'm kind of helping him show him around places to make money. Um, he, I'm about to sh um help him with hunting parts. Tell him to close do his you, mouth. Do you fellas have um any need for games or anything like that? Game. Yeah. Uh, no, but I own the gun shop if he needs anything, you know? Okay. I just gave him a cattleman that I had that I don't use to start with. Yeah. So, I'm gonna see what stock that they have at the Bastille if they need any certain meats or whatnot. Yeah, okay. Just, uh, okay. go check in there. I have no fucking clue if I'm being honest with you. I, I stay uh, out of that business side of it. No, nah, you're fun, sweetheart. Thank you. Alrighty, see ya. Um, yeah, let's go. Follow me. We're still, we're still gonna, yeah, yeah. 
All right, pull out your map. Uh, yeah. Meet me up in uh, Raddy's old uh, house that he grew up in, and he was a kid. Okay. In up uh, next to the blacksmith. Yeah, in the slums. All right, yes sir. All right. Five yeah. minutes. Yeah, I do. What do you think I should go with me? I don't know. Definitely don't want to be seen around them, leading up to it with all the cops around. See what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Carlo, get some work done. Yeah, sorry, I can't just sit around in uh, chit chat fashion, police. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. So, as soon as we shake them, we'll run up there. Hey, Hello. Vito. I uh, I went mining today, Vito. Okay, how did that go? Good, and I got a. Uh, I put in the. Let me look. I wish I was a bit taller. So we got. I put in 152 ores. Oh, very nice. So, I'll keep doing it here and there, but I got a. I got a business meeting. I got to go handle. Okay, I have to talk to you later, anyway. But. Hey, if uh, the okay, if the blacksmith comes around, uh, let me know how much he charges. I'll pay you back. Okay. He should be coming with some pipes at some point tonight. Okay. Does he have some plates too? Uh, no, but I can get him to make them up. You know. Yeah, I would probably. Uh, I don't know how much is it per pipe. Uh, I think I paid like five dollars a pipe. When I uh, can I ask how many orders? Yeah, I think like sixty or seventy. Oh, can we have maybe like uh? 150, yeah, I can tell him to uh, turn all these bars into into pipes. I just gotta give him a little bit of heads up. Um, yeah, that that would be wonderful. And then uh, the next order would be a load of uh, load of plates. Mm -hmm, yeah. All right, well, uh, I... Carlo. What's up? Whenever both of you are together and have time, I need to both of you for a moment. Mm, I could probably. I got two minutes. What's up? I need to take a picture of you and Vito. We're at here. Wherever you would want it to be. You could do it outside too. Ah, oh, right here is good. I think in the shop is good. Yeah. I just purchased a bunch of arrows and now they show up in my pockets. Yeah, well, uh. Well, they, they, they do they it. They do that. It's, 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 it's a stack. Mm. So one, one of them is, uh. One, one of them is 40, huh? And one, one package, huh? Huh? <laughs> Lady, one of them oh. equals 40. It's a bundle of them. Oh. Okay, uh, make sure you have your bow in your hands, huh? When you, uh, when you try to, uh, to use it, huh? To unpack them, huh? You have to have the quiver out, huh? No, it's fine. Literally everybody gets that confused. Like, I have... Okay, I got. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, yeah, welcome. no worries. I have literally so many arrows because of folks buying them and dropping them. Hmm. What are you gonna do with this, uh, this still photography? Hold on. Just one more. I have no idea. I don't know. I already know, but I ain't going to spoil it. Yeah, okay. I guess I'll just uh, wait and see. If it's as beautiful as the sweater I just got, it will be a treat. <laughs> What'd you just get? Good weather? 
no, 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 not good weather. It's weather. Oh, a nice sweater. I see, I see. Yeah, it is pretty nice. I knitted him a sweater and he really loves it. Good. He didn't want to wear it because he didn't want it to get ruined while he's working. Yeah, it looks good, Vito. I'll be in the slums for a little bit, okay? Uh, okay. All right. Sorry, I got business. Hey, you got work. You know, you're busy, man. You're good. Yeah, yeah. I think Mima messaged me and said she wouldn't be around until Monday. So, Monday will definitely be a good night for uh, finding out where Mima is playing. Wednesday. Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. Yeah, Mimo had uh, sent me a DM prior to uh, all of this, and you know we talked about setting up. You know, if if I wanted to, you know, do scenes, yada yada yada, and uh, Mimo said that that was their schedule, so. Oh, God. Nice knowing you. This one, too. Fuck. These were such nice houses. Actually made me pretty nauseous. RL. Where the fuck are Bodhi Ed Francis? Like legitimately, I got pretty like nauseous on her off because of that. Back rooms. What's a back room? What's that reference?
Hey, look, gamer, I found the... Uh, found Pauly's new church. So, Pauly, he's uh, one of the guys. He is um, a deacon right now, and he's about to be a priest. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Carlo. Hey, uh, so, I spoke to Angelo. He was uh, just in front of the Bastille earlier, but uh, he's heading to the public homeless now. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Yep. Paulie's an OG. He literally, like, manages the Bastille when Tilly's not around. And uh, he's the one <clears throat> who did all the work to get us the good, um, good relationships that we have with the police department. He befriended them pretty early on. So. I'm pretty sure he did like a, a priest, preacher element in his last character too. I could be wrong. I, I thought she was my cousin. Sorry. You look just like him. Yeah, well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I was... <laughs> you look just <laughs> like Angelo from a... behind. I'm sorry. I was just gonna fucking throw it past you and scare him. Yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, that was... You, you put my heart on it. Yeah, good. I'm a showstopper, you know? Yo, oh, I don't need another one I ain't gonna fucking, I ain't gonna you, hurt you. You're, a, you're about to, you're about to make me regret taking my log out off coming into town. You Jeez. literally have the same exact fucking horse as him, you got the same haircut, the same outfit, I, and I was just told he was heading down here, so I thought it was, you know, <laughs> I thought it was him. Maybe, maybe it is me. Maybe it is me, actually. No, I am the same. What do you mean? I am who you think I am. No, Look you ain't me. Angelo. I I look like him, apparently, and I ride it. Yeah, no, he doesn't stutter like you are. He says his sentences clearly. Yes. Like, uh, I can only hear half the things you're saying, friend. Let me know when he feels better, eh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, just a little misunderstanding. That could have gone a lot fucking worse than it did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. I'm just a new guy, so, you know. Yeah, you good friend. My name's Carlo Porgini. I own the gun shop here in town. Oh, hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, name's you Wyatt. Wyatt? Yes, sir. Well, you tell your friend yeah, no just... no foul, uh, good, uh, good restraint he had. I'm gonna go try and find my yes, cousin, sir. okay? You'll be good. Alright. Hey, be safe out. Yep, you too. With those axes. Yep. Could have been really fucking bad. Probably should have gotten shot there.
here, in here. Holy fuck, you literally made me fucking jump. <laughs> Holy fuck, I want to think that fucking made me so nervous. Wait for prices. <clears throat> yeah. He's here. All right, boys. Plans in motion. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can hear. Plans in fucking motion, boys. What part What's of the up, plan? <clears throat> the death of Gentleman Jones. Okay, what has Nick Eater said? Yeah, she's agreed to it. Okay. Okay, okay. She, uh... Basically, what's gonna happen is... We gotta... I don't think it's good to do it tonight. I think we gotta iron out a few more points, but... So, the best thing that I can come up with, right, is to have... Somebody bring you to the doctor's office. Shocked, okay? Mm -hmm. At that point, what's gonna happen is... You're gonna fucking take that thing. You're gonna take it right before you. You need to buy an ID card, okay? Mm -hmm. That way, when they check your identification, that thing fucking shows up. Comes out of your pocket. They know it's you. So when you get brought to the fucking doctor's office... She's gonna send a telegram to uh, the lawmans to say that there's a, a victim of a gunshot wound. They'll show up. The key will do the fucking death certificate. And then that's all she fucking wrote. And, um, when you spoke to Nikita, what, how, uh, how keen was she on, on this? I know she said she's down, but... Don't worry about her. You can trust her. She, uh, uh -huh. she'll do anything for me. She'll do anything for my family. And, uh, this is one of those things that she knows is, uh, really important to me. That, uh, you know, has really gotta fucking happen. So, she, uh, she knows the risks. She knows that, uh, this could mean her fucking head on a fucking noose. But, uh, it's yeah, a she she's gets caught, she gets she gets hung, right? Exactly. But she's gonna check your pulse, and you're gonna uh, have no pulse at all. Yeah, exactly. Because of that stuff, I'm gonna give you. So. I mean, right. I'm I'm really 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 fucking nervous, but you know. Yeah, I'm fucking. I'm even more fucking nervous. I I mean, boys, you wanna tell them what's been going on today with with everything, with Bill and. And the people uh, that tried to get you, buddy? Just fill them in? Uh, the SDPD is getting very desperate. They're, uh... Somehow they know Bill's been giving us information about uh, the bounties and all that stuff, and now they're threatening him if he doesn't bring in Jones or set him up in the next couple days. He's gonna be getting jail time. Why? Um, I don't know, because they... I don't know. They'll, they'll pin something against him. Obstruction of justice or some bullshit. I don't know, it's some... Some patrol officer in, uh... And SDPD, I don't even know if the, it's like, he's up there. I don't think he is. He's got a uh, black beard and white hair. And he rides a white horse. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I don't know his name. Yeah. He ain't nobody important, mm -hmm. though. He ain't no one important, but he's threatening them. Hmm. Well, yeah, and they're paying people, not just bounty hunters, $1,000 to get Gentleman Jones. Um, and then today, I had a group of individuals try to hog tie me after I, like, just woke up. Um, and I had to run through the Bastille and, like, jump off the balcony. Yeah, I don't know if you boys are religious, but, uh... You know, Jesus rose from the from the grave on a Sunday, so, uh... Why can't Gentleman Jones tomorrow on a Sunday? I, you saying that just made my body shiver. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I got goosebumps as soon as you said that. So I don't Sometimes think we rushed this thing. I think, uh... Yeah. I think your uh, the day of the dead for you is tomorrow, but uh, you're gonna rise. You're gonna rise right back out of it, my friend. Hello. Yeah. That's up? for you. Just for now. Oh, I got Nikita. Hey. Like I said, I got her the thousand. Um, that four hundred is for you. Um, Thank you. No problem. You ain't gotta You've fucking been... pay me for this. Nah, don't worry. It's just some pocket change for you. You know what I'm saying? So, you've been uh, you've been doing way too much for me for you know for it to be unnoticed. So, I mean, once this is all said and done, I'll get you better. But for now, 
I really do appreciate, you know, all this that you're doing, you, Nikita, you know, everybody's trying to assist me. Because right now, I'm in a fucked position, and and I'm more fucked than than, than we know right now. Uh, yeah, that's fucked. all I can say. I, I'm, let's just say, people know more than than even I know, and it's getting tedious, so. You got some lawmen on the track? Oh, my fucking God. Yeah, they are fucking on the hunt. So, I would, uh, next time we meet, let's not make it be in, uh, in St. Denis. All right, where, where are you looking? Hmm. Look, should we come up with a spot right, okay. right now that there we can go. just use, and then... So, listen, pull out Telegram your map. Call maiden. Pull out your map. All right. So, up there, uh, where Grizzly's East is, right? Mm-hmm. There's, uh, there's a bridge entrance. On the where where that that railroad north. that railroad uh, railroad that's along uh, the north up there runs east to west. Okay, I see it. All right, on one of them fucking uh, tunnels, there's a secret door. Okay. I fucking knew it. Actually, let's fucking take a wagon. I'll let's go. I got my wagons right here. All right, I'll take you guys up there so there's no fucking confusion. And Carlo, who knows about this place? You, me, and the boys here. That's it? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this right now. If anybody figures this place out, we got a Jones problem, okay? Inside. Exactly. Don't let me get inside, man. Let me pull it forward, maybe. Okay. Should we go on the other side? Maybe, uh, maybe you gotta be a little happier. Yep, I got him. Was that it? You just had to be a little yeah, happier? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Sorry, I had to raise my voice a little bit. You're good, don't worry. Oh, shit. You get in there with him. Going on, Jones? I don't fucking know anymore, man. I don't know. I'm gonna put you in uh, the place that I always said I would go if I was on the run. Well, this is where we're gonna meet. This is where we're gonna operate out of until uh, until the shit happens. I understood. Remind me again how you got this predicament. Let me know what you're facing so I know uh, just how severe this is. Well, uh, yesterday JD. it was. Yeah, I'm facing basically JD uh, or being hung, but. Do we want to grab Clegg? No. I mean, he's just showing us the spot. We could meet up with him after. Okay. I, don't, um, I don't know where Clegg's at. I'm facing JD. Yeah, what did you do again? Um. Well, what, what I was told by the bounty yeah, hunter right. is. Uh, six times attempted, two times impersonation, kidnapping, and uh, robbery. And that's all that I know, but I think they have more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Jesus, don't fucking cut over the road, you fucking idiots. Everybody okay that didn't spill your guts up? <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You guys been staying out of trouble? Yeah, yeah, we were mining yeah. yesterday. Did you get all your stuff for your uh, your powder? Uh, we got a lot. We got yeah, a lot. Of whole bunch. Got. Like, well, how much did we get? Like one something. One something. something. Yeah. But the potassium nitrate something. or the salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nitrate. I think we'll, we'll probably end up doing it again today, to be honest. Yeah. 
I think we need to go over and beyond on how much we bring. Because once that, uh, that lab's down, we can't pick that shit back up, so. Yeah, gotta make gotta as much out of it. Just like, uh, maybe probably like it's, a moonshine. Yeah, that's, that's, what, uh, that's what Chuck was saying. That Thomas told him it's like the steel. This wagon pretty good. The wheels don't fall off easy. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it used to, yeah, but yesterday I repaired it, and then I haven't had any problems since. So. Okay, but Maybe the axles are like stronger now. I don't know. Yeah, let's hope. Been pretty so. decent, though. I've got I've got nine repair kits in this thing. So. Well, you know you got to repair these on flat ground, right? No oh, fuck. Like if you ever run something like this, you got to ride it out till you get back to a trail. I don't know that. Yeah, or else the whole thing just explodes and goes away. Okay. This is literally like... Oh, fuck. I'll meet hey, you Bob. here in a hey, sec. Hey, Bob. Oh. Motherfucker. Uh. Thank God for a decent ticket number. Infinite load screen. I have to. Jesus Christ, I got kicked off the fucking wagon. Oh, you think I'm gonna go clean after all this? If I get, re once I get resurrected, I'm a new man. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking suggest that. 
Well, I would just be a little bit smarter about it, you know. I mean, I'm gonna be smarter, yeah, but I'm not gonna be fucking clean. Fuck that. Let's go, Bodie. All right. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just inside. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm inside rolling around. Stop the thing. Oh, oh. Oh, what the fuck is going on with me? Yeah, what the fuck going on here? Oh my. I'm here. All right. Jesus, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. All right, here we go. What's going on? Yeah, it's a good thing it didn't crash. Where we're about to go. <laughs> if we hit pop and the wagon keeps going, she ain't coming back. Did everybody have a real bad uh, experience there? Uh, didn't just me and you. Just you two. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Syntax, what's up? Thank you, bro. All right, here's where it's going to get real bumpy, boys. Hang on. you bro the good thing about this is it ain't in the you know the lawmen's don't ever come up here This is where we were still in, and then we got called for it. Yeah, but you won't fucking get called where I'm taking you. Damn. Is it the big long swing? Yeah. Uh, I, I would, um, I think the train's on the out of line right now, so I would, uh, when we were waiting for you, the, uh, the train came past, headed up to Amersburg. So you think it'll, uh, it'll be... It might, yeah. It. Uh, no, no, no. It'll be coming from behind us. Okay, that's good. As long as we ain't gonna run right in front of it. Gravel, appreciate you, bro. What's the IRL word that I can't uh, say? Tunnel? Yeah, it's either this one or the next one. 
I think this one is this is the yeah, this is the big long one. Alright. We're gonna stow the wagon right here while I show it to you. Alright, maybe it's the other side. Whoa. This one. You can enter it. You can enter it. All right. This is my Holy fucking. Fuck. This is my fucking hideout. If anything fucking goes wrong. Got a place to eat. You got a place to fucking rest your heads at. It ain't much, but uh, I can tell you it'll be fucking discreet. That's for damn sure. 100%. I'm telling you right now, somebody fucking finds this, we got a problem. Yeah, there ain't no way anybody's gonna find this. Just fuck it. What is this? Cocaine? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah don't look cocaine. at that. That's uh, oof. I don't, don't. don't all right, don't all right, all that. right. Yeah, I won't. Not real. But this is where we're gonna at least meet, as far as uh, from now until uh, your resurrection. Yeah, I think this is wise. This is definitely a good spot. Hundred percent. I wonder if that night. This is where um, we can do the train thing. I think uh, we need to let the boys know the horses. We need to put them down the hill because that train's going to come past. And you know how fucking nosy those train uh, operators are. Yeah, you can't probably leave the wagon like it is. Yeah, yeah. I'd have I to would not suggest somewhere. that. 100%. Just because the train is currently actively running. Um, it'll probably be coming back through here if it's not doing the inner loop in the next uh, 20 minutes. So if you need to, uh, if you want to arrange any meetings before, uh, now and then, just send the runner and, uh, you know, we can plan on meeting here. This place is fucking crazy. Yeah, I know. And it's one of them places that fucking nobody knows about, so. This is uh, where people could go to fucking, you know, not exist yeah, anymore. Yeah, 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 exactly. Wow. Gravel, you're a legend, bro. Damn, I wish I put the fucking camp right. in here instead. I'm hydrating. You think you can? I mean, I, I could remove the other one and bring all the stuff here, but that's like... We would have to travel back and then forth with all the stuff. Oh, wagon. Yeah. Check it inside. Yeah, I want to do that? We can do it in a bit. Like, it's not... Like, is it a priority? Um, with how many people were there yesterday? It could be. What? Where, sure. uh, Wait, the what? Moonshine at place? the underground spot. Yeah, the underground bar. It was an off-duty off, uh, off duty deputy, apparently. After the, the the storm happened, she was just across the road, uh, was wondering there. why there was a lot of people there, so... Yeah, no kidding. So she just fucking entered a fucking house that she doesn't mm -hmm. own. Exactly. Yeah, that's Other people fishy. do the same. That's really fucking fishy, and I ain't buying it. Exactly. So... So, I mean, I just feel like... gonna fucking come here. That's, for That's what I'm saying. Sure. If somebody does come here and randomly find this place, and obviously, you know, whatever, but we'll, we'll figure that out. But I feel like this place, comparatively to the other one, is way, uh... No? Yeah, discreet. <sighs> yeah, this well. a little yeah, I would Anything have... else happened today, Carlo? Uh... Not really, no. I, uh, just did a lot of fucking mining. You know, my life ain't that exciting. It's it's these things that uh you know, I'm really made for. Yeah. But Holy fuck. You better fucking mock your map and uh you know. Make sure you know exactly how to get back here. Yeah, buddy, uh if you look at your map, the little fork in the in the the railroad has a little lip in it. Yeah, I think that's, like, signifying the entrance of the tunnel. Yep, right? yep, yep. So, there's a lot of fucking animals you can hunt here. I know hunting ain't your thing, but... Oh, actually... This is, where, uh, this is this is where, um... Uh, Maggio hunts, and he told me he got $450 from hunting for an alley here, so... I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah you gotta get them big elk. <laughs> yeah, them big elk, them bears, them wolves. So, I'm not gonna lie, it could be, uh... Be, could be a nice change of pace for you, Jones. Yeah, you know, this is exactly well, where, if I was you, I would lay low for after the fact, too, you know? Mm. Like, uh, mm. operate out of here for a little bit and, uh, you know, not down there in the bumping and humping of the fucking city. 
Yeah, you ain't fucking wrong. Cause over there, there's um, you know, a lot of fucking people. People go hunting down there or whatever. It's a swamp right next to Saint Denis. I mean, like I said, this place is way fucking better. Yeah, exactly. And I didn't even fucking see a door there. Just fucking brick wall. Exactly. Just brick wall. You gotta, you know, you gotta know which brick to pull to get in here. Exactly. Don't ask me how I fucking found this, but I did. I won't ask you. I'll just ask if somebody else fucking finds this. Yeah, I don't think any uh, anybody else fucking even knows this place exists, so. All right, so uh, I guess main uh, main goal right now is bringing all my shit over here. Problem is, I got to buy a new camp and new camp supplies, so I got to pull money out of my camp. I have $1,500 in there, which is basically almost everything I got. There's some more money in St. Denis, but I'm not going back there. Um, so we got to go buy another camp and some supplies. And the only other thing you stuff. could do is uh, put a lot of makeup on your face and grow, uh, like, take your hair out of that bun and uh, let it flow down like a lady and, uh, you know, change your voice up a little bit. You might be good. I mean, I got a fucking fake beard here, too. See this? Yeah, but you still look like yourself. Do I? Yeah. I just, I, I, I just, I don't know. You got, you got a look. I got a look about myself? Yeah, I mean, so, I'm, I'm are just you, being honest with you. Do I actually, I, I covered my fucking, you know, I can see through these, right? I, I didn't I, know that. I thought you yeah, were just fucking, I, yeah, no, I no, you could I, see I, I, I'm pretending that I'm blind, but there's, you know, it's, um, you know, I cut out from the inside so I could see, you know, I can't really see that well, but I could see, you know? Yeah. Oh, I mean, you know, I, I covered my eyes because the last time I got questioned, the officers were questioning me about the color of my eyes. And obviously I can't change the color of my eyes. So, you know, I'm covering them. Good they said, shit. oh, you, I remember Gentleman Jones. He has blue eyes. I said, nope, nope. I got green eyes. You must be colorblind, officer. But I do have blue eyes, so yeah. Now you got no eyes. Yeah, now I got no eyes, and they can't, they can't see. Look at my eyebrows, eyebrows either. Yeah, they can't eyebrow ID me, so. Yeah, true. I think maybe uh, I pull uh, pull my hair out of this bun, uh, let it flow for a bit. You think I should shave my beard or what? Uh, yeah. Makeup. I would, I would put some makeup on, have some sideburns like Phyllis has, you know. Hmm. I mean, that's just my suggestion. Yeah, you're you're correct. Maybe uh, maybe just like a, a nice mustache, eh? Yeah, yeah. The problem is, um, when I got a, a the picture of my bounty from the bounty hunter, he uh he basically showed me the picture and and I had a mustache in it, so I was straying away from mustaches. Maybe a fork beard. Ooh, a fork beard? Yeah, you know them beards that have, like, the two forks? It looks like a fork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I could, I could do that. Maybe uh, some black hair, fork beard, and, uh... You fucking talk like this, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, from Chinatown or something. I don't know. Yeah. I was me? going I was going for the, the voice crack. Yeah, that was, that was... What's going on, guys? It's, it's just know that's me? like it. Does yeah, it sound like me? Drop. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Your balls didn't drop when you talk like that. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, I, I mean, how, well, how much do I got to do for these guys not to fucking know it's me, man? Obviously quite a bit because they keep fucking uh, sniffing you out. Yeah, yeah. somehow uh, it's fucking crazy. These guys like, you know, it's, <laughs> we didn't even tell you this. We had five marshals pull up to us at the clothing store and they all talked to me because I, I look like a person of interest. And I said, okay, uh, what do you guys want to know? And they questioned me. I told them my name was Toby Marshall, bunch of bullshit, whatever. Um, and I was just talking like, I was just talking like this, just normally. And I, I mean, I, I put, I basically put holes in their stories, right? Yeah. And they just let us go. But they just sat in front of the clothing store waiting for us. And, you know, they're trying to pin, like, since I know these boys, that it's it, it has to be me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it sounds like they're, uh, they're fucking doing anything they can to fucking jam you up. But eh, don't fucking worry about it. We got a good plan in place. We're going to fucking get you out of this, my friend. Don't fucking worry about it. How do I sound right it. now? You sound okay. like a nah. guy named Mr. Nah. Honeycut. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay. Are oh, you talking about milk? Yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking Honeycut key. What about now? That's how you can uh, speak like the Honeycut. What about now? Yeah. You speak no. You sound no. Oh, my God. 
Okay. Sound like you're gonna suck someone's soul out, man. Yeah. yeah. All right, fuck all that shit. Got any secret accents you hiding? Yeah. Um, now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, the problem is right doing doing other accents like. It's not it's sustainable. Time. It's not the yeah, yeah. You can't do it consistently, right? Like yeah, like look, uh, I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna try a fucking meet up accent real quick, eh? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, guys, how are you doing? I'm um, I'm Carlo Porcini. It's nice to meet you. I can still tell it's you. Yeah, you can't fucking tell that's me. Yeah, I could. Yeah, you got the same mannerisms. You got the same it? mannerisms and the, the tone of your voice. Is mannerisms. The same. Yeah, yeah, how about mannerisms? this? <clears throat> Yeah, I reckon I'm just a tobacco farmer. I grew up. Yeah, that's different. Okay, that's, that's different. Yeah. yeah. You know, the reason I chose this life of crime, I didn't choose it. It chose me when them fucking tobacco prices drop. And yeah, see, that's a good one. Problem yeah, see, is, I can't sustain a, a voice with specific words, right? Sure, so, you can. Get a leg transplant, make yourself taller. Can I get a leg transplant? Can you guys, like, put <laughs> a rope on my legs and my arms and stretch me out, or, or no? That's what I was saying. Let's get two horses and stretch your ass. Get it? Two trains? Okay, you want to split me okay. in fucking half, asshole, <laughs> or do you want to stretch me out? Uh, okay. Both. Um. Okay. Uh. Well, I, I do want to get taller. So. so what you got to do? I won't ask any questions. Uh, maybe there's some like medical shit you can take. Like, is there is there something I could put in my shoes that makes me taller? Some heels or, or some stilettos you some, or something? You could dress up like a woman. Yeah, I think if you mm. dressed up like a woman, honestly, nobody <laughs> hey would fucking Hey, guys! Know. How's everybody doing? That's the one. Yeah. That's it. Oh, my goodness! Yep, Leave me it. alone! You can put some one. weight on as well. Yeah. Get fat. And you know what you gotta do? You gotta, like, uh... You gotta, like... Stuff your belly, and uh, that way, when people walk past you, you know, uh, they see your belly, and it, you know, it makes them think that it says uh, pregnant or something, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're not fucking wrong. Okay. So I, I do gotta, okay, that's like, I'm good. Gonna, I'm gonna go grab some of, hey, Francis, can you grab me some of them, uh, some, like a pillow or something that I can stuff in my belly? Uh, yeah. Is there a, a, a clothing store or something, a barbershop uh, close by? We can just go over there. I'll change it to... Okay, we gotta go. I gotta change it to a woman. All right, watch this, though, first. I'll show you what I mean about uh, stuff in my belly. You just gotta get me a pillow. All right, stuff it in my, in my shirt, okay? Okay, right there. Just like that. Oh, shit. But how do I keep that there the whole time? And you just tag it in, huh? There, yeah. You pick up you, you know, you just tag it in. You just tag them pillows right in your belly. There you go. That's it. Do your uh, lady voice one more time. I'll close my eyes. I, I forgot how to fucking do it. Hold on. Oh my god! I am pregnant! That's I the have one. a kid! Yep, yep. I believe it. Let's go. Oh my god, Carlo, you're such a hunk. Lady, lady. Yeah, now, Jones. now we know you're fucking lying. I just want to fuck you. Okay. Oh my Not god, on the first Carlo. Date. Gentle lady. Maybe that should, that should be my new name. Gentle lady. <laughs> yeah, Madam Gentle Jones. Lady. Madam Jones. You know what's Madam crazy? Jones. My sister yeah, was going to wake up one day and that was going to be her name. <laughs> yeah, Madam Jones. All right, take me to a clothing store. All right, you can take them things out of your belly now. How do I do that? Yeah, you just tag it again. It's not working. No, just tag. Just tag. Got it. Uh, I don't suggest we go to Valentine. I say we go back towards Annisburg. Uh, is there Baba there? Uh, it's a little know. bit of law there, but not from that. The looks, what do you guys uh, think of that <laughs> right there? <laughs> That's the one.
Yeah, there's no bomb right now. I think bird. everybody's got to change up. Yeah. Oh! What is it, a bear? Oh, is it a bear? Oh, I thought that was a fucking train whistle, bro. I did too. I thought that was a train whistle. That was a fucking grizzly. That is faintly in my ears. Maybe you guys should look like ladies too for a little bit. Yeah, we should. Oh, I don't got no cash on me, so I gave it all to Carlo. I so got you guys. Nice. Okay, okay. It's just, uh, it's a good idea for just trying to go off everybody. Yeah, it's a good thing I ain't drunk right now, because we'd, uh, we'd have tumbled. You know, um, do you guys know any more spots for the train? Because we've been past this one coming up ahead like five times and nothing. What? Uh, I think I know one. I'll let you know if it works out. But I ain't no, gonna no. tell you till the resurrection day. No, no, no. Yeah. Don't tell me somebody's the gonna get a fucking itchy finger. I'm not gonna rob no train! Yeah, you better not, young lady. I'm you not a criminal! Yeah, you criminal scum. I didn't even do the crime they're at. They're telling me about. Yeah, I save didn't it for the judge. It. Yeah, you know what Virgil's gonna say? He's gonna say, "Yeah, save it for the judge, boy." <laughs> what should like, my uh, What should my name be? What about Karen? I think Karen's a good name. Karen. Karen. Yeah. All right. Across these tracks out bumpy. Uh... Oh my god, Carlo, are you my daddy? Yeah, you can call me that. I'm your father. Okay, daddy. No, it's father. Don't fucking call me that. Okay. Can I be Karen Portini? No. All right. <laughs> really? <laughs> this is this <laughs> Are you fucking blind? Oh fuck! I think I see some white hats. I see some mom in. Need uh, need some money. All right. Okay, I need. I don't know how the fuck I pull. Um, how, how do I become a woman? Uh, I would uh, start with a dress. Only two dresses I could wear. 
yellow or blue? Which, which one brings your eyes out more? Hold on, let me take my shirt off. I think blue. You gotta take your um, gun belt off. Okay. Now uh, go to hats. Get the one with the big pretty flower in it. Huh? Where is that, uh, Bodhi? Oh, um... Which hat is that? Uh, the last style. And then it's color 85. Alright, I'm gonna do one too. Just hang tight. You said the last dial for the hat? Mm hmm And then I believe 87. It's the color. I don't know. I like 85. Yeah, that's the one I have, sorry. All right. What about shit? You just took off your shit? Yeah, I took my shirt off and now I have the dress on. What about your pants? You gotta take your pants off too. Uh, I have my pants still on. Oh, take them off. You gotta, oh. you gotta free bowl it, eh? <laughs> and uh, I would put on the flip flops. Like them, flip flops? Them, them shoes. I'll tell you what aisle they are. This is this is gonna be hilarious. Yeah, aisle thirty nine. Got him. Yeah. Let's do uh, color tree. Are yeah, we all dressed up as ladies? Yeah. I don't have money. Where do I get the flip flops? Uh, boots. I got them. Uh, where did you get it? Torso? Is that where you, uh, in that aisle? Uh, for, for the, the dress? dress? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's at the very bottom of the aisle. I my fucking beard away. Yeah, my name's Carla. Oh, fuck. Not good.
All right, I got some lipstick on me. <laughs> My house. I couldn't afford the boots, but it's okay. You got makeup on you. You you gotta. Oh, hello. Yeah, you gotta like uh. You gotta talk to him and ask to get. Clothes. You gotta look at the register again. Oh, I got it. You got some real interesting colors here. Take my fucking beard off. This. Holy. How you doing, young man? My name's Carla. Oh, I can wear a blue vest and a blue hat and be like the pimp. Hey, how you doing, Tush? These are my, uh, these are my girls. What do you reckon? Five bucks a pop. <clears throat> oh, honey, I think whatever you do will be fine. Not the fucking armor with the dress. <laughs> uh. All right, we could just go to the barber. Let's go. Bro, me either. Swear to God. Uh, this is how we, uh, this is what the night turned into. We gotta have Gentleman Jones be Gentle Lady Jones to stay away. Like five bucks? We got four bucks. Oh, do you need some money, honey? Yeah. <laughs> yes, please, babes. Okay. Oh my god, Daddy, please give the money! Oh my god! There you go, sweetie. I'll be back. I'm gonna go get a, uh, a fan so we can uh, fan uh, our faces think off. Thanks, sugar tits. Yeah, no worries. Appreciate it. Oh, bro, this is gonna be great. I don't even know why I felt the need to dress Carlo up, because Carlo's not on the run, but... Fuck it. Just fucking embrace it. <laughs> Dude, would Granny be dying? I got something for us. Oh my god, yes, bitch. Wait, wait, I forgot how to do the voice. Oh, yeah, look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Francis is oh. angels right here. Oh my mm. god, we're so bad. We're bad bitches. Yes, bitch. Let's go, oh my girl. god. We're Let's so go. fucking beautiful. Hey, you better change your fucking voice. <laughs> Let's go, girls. 
We need to go to the barber shop. Oh my God, girls, let's go. Man, I feel like a woman, eh? Yes, bitch. Let's see how long I can slow uh, down a little bit. Yep, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> daddy. Uh, no more legs. Ain't nobody. Is he following us? Is he? I don't know. I can't see. Okay, I was gonna say. Ain't nobody oh, gonna stop us if I, you know, if I sound like that and call them daddy Bro, and shit, alright? This is legit, Phyllis. <laughs> to a T. But it's just, I don't know. This is the I'm best way for them to disguise. Get erotic with every single person you see, and ain't no one gonna fucking bother you anymore. Oh boy, is the mice sweaty. fucking works out you're gonna have to stay like this i know that mr jones uh what do you mean yeah i think you just uh you gotta this is gotta be your new persona yeah until i get resurrected right yeah maybe for like a week after you you gotta do this what <laughs> yeah oh sense, yeah huh? all right yeah sure all right you can't just go back to looking like yourself yeah, you ain't wrong. You should be then, too. Maybe Nikita can help with that. Yeah, I mean, she's a doctor. She, uh... She's brand new. Cut your face up. Is there no fucking, like, Botox around here? Put some fucking Botox in my face, bitch! Yeah, like, uh, pork fat. We could just inject that into your cheeks, make them plump up. Exactly. The fact that I'm able to uh, steer this thing with one hand while I'm waving the fan in my face is pretty good. Yeah, this is not how I uh, expected tonight to go. Leader's gonna be so fucking pissed at me because I left him in the shop. Maybe Nikita could give me some surgery. Yeah, what do you mean? I think you, you know? just want me to call you daddy for the next week. Isn't that true, Carlo? You no, know, maybe she'll just slip with the scalpel Sweetie, and accidentally, you know? My name is you know? Carla, okay? Get it All fucking right, right. Carla. Sorry about that, bitch. The name's Beatrice. Yeah, yeah I'm still Reginald, alright? Call me Daddy Reg. Yeah, how big Reg sound? Yeah, that sounds good. Should I try and pimp you guys down to the lawman? No. Okay. We gotta avoid them fucks. Okay. Because if they try and get a little handsy with one of us. I tell them not to touch the merchandise. So what we're gonna do after we get our hair done, Vito is a good judge of people. If Vito can't fucking sniff us out with that fucking nose of his, nobody will. Okay, okay. It's the barber shop, boys. The girls, I mean. <laughs> Ain't this it? Oh, no. no. Oh. <laughs> it's down the next street. Next street over. Damn. 
Be careful here. Oh, I thought. No man. It's over here. On the other side of it. You don't want to know. I have to share my view. Yeah, what do you think of what do you think of my hair? Yeah, it looks beautiful. Good. Yeah, it looks good. Sit on this chair, by the way. You need to get rid of your fucking scraggly ass beard. You ain't full of no one with that shit. I don't have money. Uh oh, how much you got? Four legs. Okay, here's another four. I got no money now. How do I take my five o'clock shadow off? I don't think I do it here. I don't think you can. Five o'clock shadow. Make sure shadow. you take your eyewear, Rolf. I have a fly. I have a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> It'll be okay. Nobody will know. Jesus, oh, yes. <laughs> take your fucking beard off, you dick. Yeah, take your fucking beard <laughs> I off. I can't afford it. I have eight bucks. Hey, there we go. I need to put more makeup on. Who does? Me, me. Yeah. On my I'm face, back. my cheeks. I'm gonna grab money from the bank. I'm gonna go, uh, call the store. Uh, so... Nadi's on the run. And we found a, a hideout. And... We're changing his identity. So he can hide from the law. He's the most wanted man in the Commonwealth. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please be invited, Oliver. <laughs> er. Bob? You just said your own name. Uh, hey boys, how are you? Oh, I hit my head over here. Ladies. Hello. And I'm still a little spooked by this work. Oh, oh, yeah. How you doing? Hey boys, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? For fuck's sake. Watch out, sweethearts. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Yeah, God damn, listen, you are pretty. Listen, it's fucking Carlo. I'm under disguise, okay? Oh, yeah, I know it's you. How do you know it's me? <laughs> the voice? Yeah, listen. Fuck, I did, I Where's didn't Angelo? Uh, uh, he popped inside the bus still and, and there was seven again. What the? Okay, boys, to the low. <laughs> yeah, have a great day, ladies. Bye bye, cutie. He was calling me beautiful. <laughs> Yes, honey, because you are. I'm going to go see the man about getting the gun. Do you want to come? Or do we just wait? Okay. Let's wait for uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Jones. Okay. It's gonna be pretty hard for me to sustain a voice. Where? Inside the Bastille. Polly DeLuca. What is yeah. Bastille? Uh, How are you, you doing, doing boys? Drink from the Bastille. Oh, I'm good. They're in the bar car. They're full train. What was that? Oh, nothing, honey. Polly DeLuca. Never mind. Right. Alright. Oh, God. 
The boss is on the bar cart. <laughs> no, I know, I know. It's just oh. telling everybody else. I'm sorry. Pardon me. I'm sorry. What in the world is it? How you doing, honey? Mr. Xander, how are you? I'm all right. How How's it going? I'm good. What's up, oh. sweetheart? It's oh, good to I see remember you. this place. Yeah. Yeah. Polly. What? Uh, the lady in yellow needs you. Who the fuck is the lady in yellow? Hey, Polly, it's me. She needs spiritual help. Polly, Polly, it's me. Yeah, what are you doing? What the fuck? Yeah, we're in disguise. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, you she needs Polly? your help, uh, Deacon DeLuca. Oh, sorry, sir. Excuse me. Excuse oh, me. that's no way to bump into a lady. Oh, oh, oh. the light. Apologize, miss. My apologies. Ah, I burned it. my hand on the exposed flame. Don't you see the ring on this oh, finger? I saw uh, a devil. Where's Mrs. Jones at? I don't know. Maybe, maybe getting some more makeup. Yeah, that's Polly. <laughs> you gotta pull up on that cop too. You gotta take off your gun belt, sweetie. Oh. You're such a hunk of a man. I hear that often. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my god. Hey, what's up, sweetheart? Guy? Oh my god. I want to take you around back. I'm gonna rub that I'm sweet getting, bald head of yours. getting sweaty. Oh my. We rub that head. So Jenna, I told sexy. you I'd bring all the ladies. It's because I got the muscles out now. Well, put them away. Hey, ha have fun, Bob. You have fun with that. <laughs> We have to go now. Oh my god, have a good one, daddy. Yeah, let's go, yeah, Karen. Let's go talk to uh, Mr. Vito in the gun shop. Go, uh, the... Let's go, Karen. Yeah, All right. Yeah. In Hamburg. No, Karen, we gotta go to the gun shop, sweetie. Let's go. Oh. All right. You think it's a little fucking sus that we're all wearing the same dress? No, we just got a good sense of style, honey. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, I'd like to speak to somebody about a firearm. We're trying to buy some guns. Ah. Oh, hello. How you doing, hey, sir? Hey, big boy. Are you the gunsmith? Oh, uh, well, yes. Uh... Can you assist us with some guns? Yeah, Vito, it's me. Uh, uh, sure. Vito, it's gentlemen, it's, gen it's gentlemen and Carlo yeah, Vito, and, and Bodie. It's us. Hey, what are y'all doing? <laughs> I'm on the fucking run, Vito. What are, what are you doing? They're gonna fucking hang me if they catch me. Well, don't get caught. Yeah, this is why we're dressed like this. <laughs> okay, okay. Did you recognize us? Nah, uh, no, not at all. All right, beautiful. It worked. Good shit, Carlo. How about me, Vito? Uh, I heard a little bit in your voice, but I wasn't 100% sure. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. But yeah, no. Uh... Hey, Bonita, how about you say something? Hey, what's up, sweet cheeks? Okay. <laughs> I had no fucking clue. This guy. Uh, no, oh, sorry, I got some uh, people here. Oh, never mind. Anyway. Uh... How you doing, sir? Oh. Hey, hey you big that right boy. Into my, mouth. my name's Carla. My name is Karen. It looks like you have some muscles on you. Uh, 
Wow, that is some bright ass fucking lipstick. All right, Carla. Yes. All right, you got black okay. lipstick and matching eyeshadow. All right, this is convincing. How am I looking? My name is Karen. Yeah, does it look like us, Camilo? Does it look uh, like a gentleman? Do I, do I look like gentlemen? I. No, really, actually, I was I actually questioning if that was you. You had no idea it was me. This guy over here, though, has got a fucking jaw that could, like, cut a diamond. I don't know if he's going to be able to pull it hey, off. Hey, you should ask him to talk. Hey, Bodie. Uh, hey, what's up, beautiful? Oh. Yeah, it just sounds Carla. like she's been, uh, you know. Been smoking a lot of cigarettes. Carla, I need you for a moment, yeah? Yeah, what's up? Hey, come this way. <laughs> okay, girls, I'll be right back, okay? All right. I'm assuming that uh, you're wearing this. What yeah, are you up? doing? Uh, we're just practicing the disguise for when we're on. Well, how do you? When you you're what? What do you need? I'm paying you. For what? I'm. I have your first payment. All right, hurry up. We gotta go. Because okay. I've been working all day today, so I'm. Not Did you get how much money did you give Tilly for a loan? Oh, I think it was fifty five hundred, dear. I don't know. Fifty five hundred okay, well. Uh yeah. There's twenty two hundred of it. Okay, sweetie. Oh my god. Are you going to do that all night? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so let me write this down. That fucking walk though. <laughs> I think the lawyer's inside though. Let's go upstairs. All right. So let's talk to the lawyers. Are you an attorney? Uh, I am. All right, follow us, please. This poor fucking. Just up here. be peeing but I can still hear okay ten out of ten RP a character within a character yeah it's freaking hard just over here mr. Ratani you go ahead and take a seat okay Yeah, my girlfriend here, she's just taking a little piss, okay? Uh, okay. Who's this? Yeah, when, uh, when you're ready, just let them know. Alright, I'm ready. Okay. What, uh, what can I do you for? All right, listen, this is a uh, confidential between us, right? Uh, sure, yeah. You don't sound too conv- Is he a lawyer? What kind of fucking attorney are you? Uh, I, I'm not under retainer right now. I haven't been hired by anybody, so... All right, yeah, well, well, you're hired. hired. Yeah. So, who, who who are you? And I have to get paid in order to be hired. How much do you oh, want to get- Oh, this greedy fuck. 
I fucking yeah. told you yesterday I'd have a client for you. You're gonna get paid. Just listen and, you know, say that you're gonna be uh, confidential, eh? Hey, look, if we're not gonna identify ourselves, I gotta know who I'm dealing with. If that's you, Mr. Porgini, I'm happy to take your word at it. Yeah, it's Mr. Porgini here. I'm just fucking trying out an outfit that, and, you know, I it's blended nice. in with them. That's very nice. Uh, okay. Listen, my name is Gentleman Gentleman Jones. You might have heard of me, you might have not, all right? I'm in a, I'm in a strong, strong fucking predicament. Um, so, so strong that if I get caught, I'm either going to be on JD or I'm going to be hung. Okay. Okay. And we have a fucking problem. Um, they're, uh, the officers are sending civilians and bounty hunters after me. They got a thousand dollar bounty from civilians to get me. If they get me, they get a thousand. If the bounty hunters get me, they get whatever the bounty is. Right. Um, it seems like I'm looking at a whole bunch of, uh, attempted murder on, uh, some LEOs, uh, kidnapping, robbery, impersonation, bunch of stuff, all right? Um, and I'm, I'm coming to you because I need to legally change my name. And I'm assuming you're the person I need to talk to as a lawyer. Is Gentleman Jones your name? Your legal name? Yes, yes. So, um, my concern is the courts are going to be aware that uh, there is a warrant out for your arrest as Gentleman Jones. And they're not going to be too keen on changing your name. Is there no way we can do this under the table? Maybe if you uh, said it like uh, he's got the same name as the other Gentleman Jones, you know? And uh, people is coming up to him because that's his... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I hear you. I, I hear you. Um, I mean, I, I, can do, I can do my best uh, to figure that out. You know, because that's uh, it's kind of a common name, I would say. So, uh, he, just to, uh, if you write it up, like, to, to dispel any confusion, you know? Because he's been uh, falsely, uh, you know, accused of being the, the real Gentleman Jones. Sure, sure. No, absolutely. Um, what, what name are you looking to change your name to? Boys, ladies, huddle up real quick. Let's find a, a find a fucking name. Give me a second, sir. First and foremost, I don't know if I trust this guy, but he's a lawyer, so whatever. Yeah. Um, what kind of what kind of fucking name? What what name? Yeah, maybe uh, shit. I don't fucking know. Glizzy Gobbler. No, it's gotta be no. It gotta be something I, I could have forever. <laughs> Maybe like uh, I don't know. Oh fuck! This is hard. This is the hardest part of everything. Yeah, <laughs> like it's a good thing part. that uh, our parents pick our names for us, you know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what about Benny Bones? Benjamin Bones. I like Benjamin that. Bones. All right, fuck it. You guys, you guys, Kingdom Benjamin Bones. Benjamin Bones. Benjamin. Maybe don't do something. Maybe maybe last name something that doesn't rhyme with Jones. What about Benjamin Jones? Perhaps. What about Butch Bones? Mm. Butch the Butcher Jones. <laughs> yeah, but if we put Jones, you're just gonna put two and two together. No, I mean Bones. Well, bones. Well, maybe even Bones to be honest, it just rhymes. Well, Mr. Robinson. Right. Benjamin mm. Robinson. Benjamin Robinson. I like that. Yeah. Billy Butcher. Yeah, Billy nah. the Butcher. Mm. Okay. Oh, fuck. It's okay, girls. Don't get overwhelmed. Billy Butch. Yeah. Benjamin Billy. Butcher. I like Benjamin Butcher. BB. Yeah, we can Benjamin do Butcher. Yeah. Benjamin Butcher or Benjamin Bush. Any of them. Benjamin Butcher. I reckon. All right, let's do that. Benjamin Butcher. Okay. Looking to change the name to uh, Benjamin Butcher. Benjamin Butcher, let me jot that down. Yeah, like I said, I think if you, uh, you know, say it like, you know, he's been uh, falsely accused of being, you know, that menace gentleman Jones so many times. Yeah, so, so is there anybody by chance that might happen to look like you? A lot of fucking people. Actually, there's a few, yeah. Um, I'm just wondering if there's a way to... Uh, Not like this, though, but, you know, the way well, I originally looked, yeah. 
I'm just wondering if there's a way to kind of say, hey, that's the real one over there, right? This is a different one. Or yeah, the real one's like fucking that. wanted. We can't do that. The real one might die tomorrow. Right. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, I hope not. I need to see anybody lose their life. But um, I, I'm just, I'm just anticipating the judge wanting uh, Jenna Jones to appear to make sure that uh, it's not the one that's wanted, right? Yeah, I think after tomorrow that might be a lot better, you know? Well, how do you mean? I don't know. I just foreshadow a lot of uh, miraculous things sometimes. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Hopefully there's a miracle or two in store for all of us. But, um, yeah, let me, uh, let me work on this and see what I can come up with. All right, I mean... You hear that, Benjamin? I hear that. So, Mr. Soon-to-be Butcher, is there a telegram number I can reach you at, or what is the best way to communicate? Um, I mean, you could telegram um, either Carlo or... No, don't fucking, uh, I don't want any... Okay, I do not tell... Yeah. Okay, um, I mean, you could telegram... I mean, you could tell... Oh. I'm my head pop. Motherfucker. Farming. Somebody's over farming. <sighs> yeah, so that's uh that's a pretty uh what's the word I'm thinking of? I haven't seen this uh, type of disconnect in a while. It just, that specific crash happens when people are over farming. But I'm going to use this downtime real quick to go use the restroom. I'll be right back. Come here. Hey, boys. We gotta, go. we gotta get this guy either on fucking like if he gets paid, he can't say nothing, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, we need to give him money because he's a freak. What do you mean? I mean, the first thing he th says when we ask him not to say anything is, "Oh, I'm not on retainer." Just that, and, like, so sus. Yeah, I know. Anybody got any waters? Uh, I don't have water. I got a drink for you. We gotta go to the the hideout after this. Not the one we went to earlier, but the, the original one. All right. Well, you guys are going to have to uh, go on without me. And uh, yeah, that's gonna, fine. when you guys need to talk, you got to you gotta send a run over, okay? All right. All right. That's fine. I hope this attorney comes back.
Yeah, I got a uh, real tick legs, you know. I don't think I fit in with this dress. <laughs> so do I. Look at my fucking. Look. You don't even got fucking shoes on, Bolito. Yeah. I got cankles. Yeah, I got. I got my legs are. Oh, you got thicker legs than me. Look Jesus at them Christ. fucking dogs on him. Ah. Uh, her, I mean. Oh, wait, he's gone. At least these dogs get the brief, you know? Yeah, exactly. Boy, smell that. Oh, uh, you girls. Am I smell? I don't. I only see you. Is it just us, Carlo? No, I. Can, I see Francis yeah. here. Well, I don't see him. You gotta walk around town like this, waving all the boys. Smelling. We're fucking clapping? No, like waving like this. I'm waving like I am right now? No, like I am. I see I you am. clapping. I see you clapping. Yeah, we're probably about to, uh. Oh, are we? Yep. Okay. Fucking predicted it. Predicted it. Everybody who thinks that Crash Pryo doesn't exist, I have the highest priority you can buy. And those are the folks in front of me who have the Pryo. Because I re logged out of my uh, session, so my Pryo reset, and all the people in front of me are gone. What is over farming? So, server can only sustain so many, like, plants. So, when people put down more than the server can sustain, it causes it to crash. And that's just a... Out of everybody's control. There's nothing, to my knowledge, that I think can be done about
I'm grabbing some food for my uh, my skirt real quick. Okay, sweetie. What the fuck is that? Ah. Me, motherfucker. How you doing, honey? Oh, how's it going, sugar tits? I think the, the lawyer got scared. Loose end. Dear Carla, I hate your stinking guts. You make me vomit your scum. Oh, God. I freaking love little rascals. I'll tell Angelo what uh what I'm doing over here. You guys think he left? I don't know, honey. Might be stuck. I think we had to get out of here, to be honest. All right. Well, we know we got a plan in place, you know? Yep, exactly. Let's get out of here. We're going to go uh, to the underground, and we'll get a runner to you, if anything, all right? Yep. Fucking hell. Oh, it's all for uh, all for this scene with Gentleman Jones and being on the run. We're testing out the uh, the disguises. Fuck, now the real struggle is going to be getting out of here and getting changed and not getting caught. Hey, like, don't forget. 
get the ammo, huh? Excuse me, sir. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Do we change the outfit first or change the hair first? his outfit. Yes, could you uh, do a coin flip for me? Heads or tails? Oh. Like my hat. Could you do a coin flip for me? Okay. I don't know how. Okay. Thank you. Alright, outfit it is. Fuck. This is gonna be hard. Definitely going in the, uh, the private room to do this. Oh, fuck. I don't think I can get rid of this. All right. Never mind. About to say, I think I'm stuck. Can you go away? Dude, I've been wanting to have long hair for a while, but it just doesn't fit Carlo. never even happened. Well, that is unfortunate. Okay. 
Okay, good enough. What happened? I'm still confused. They they bully me, sir. Hey, you seen Angelo? I have not. Actually. Uh, he went with he went with, um, he went right? with the Mr. Ratchet. They had a meeting about something uh, when we were rolling cigarettes earlier. So where'd they go? Uh, that I do not know, sir. You have no clue. I have no clue. Nope. They just uh, they horsed off somewhere. Ay ay ay. All right. Yeah. Did I miss anything? I've been out of town for a little while. I think you've been going long enough to miss anything, honestly. Yeah, yeah there okay. were some ladies running around here. Oh, that? Uh, yeah, there was a tree of them. Yeah, tree of them? Real okay. pretty. Yeah, okay, cool. match your makeup and outfits. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Okay, well, Fucking I'm off to the uh, gun shop. I got to go do some work. All right, All right sir. All Take right, care now. The boys be okay. The 20th of October. Carlo's gonna have to come back when uh, Carlo gets fucked because of this. Carlo's gonna have, unfortunately, be put on the back butter for now. They've got to keep it though. Yeah, I think uh, those guys, uh, you know, got all the important details. They can pay you if uh, after the paperwork's put in. Just let me know how much. Okay. Uh, in case I need to get in touch with somebody, who do I get in touch with? Yeah, I mean, uh, confidentiality, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, I gotta be able to talk to somebody about it. But I'm saying there's confidentiality, like you ain't gonna just go uh, turning them in, right? Uh, I wouldn't even know how to turn him in. I don't even know where he's located. Okay. Well, you'll uh, just uh, communicate through me, okay? Okay. Sounds good. Alrighty, friend. All right, take care. Thank you. Sorry, Vito. I've been out of town for quite a while. I didn't mean to leave you here. Yeah, that's okay. Everything going good? Yeah. Oh, no way. Well, you are hanging around having fun out there. I'm sorry. I'm saving a man's life. So, um, I need pipes. Bad. How many we got? Uh, 33. Okay. Well, the guy's gonna be, uh, he should be delivering them to me. But, uh, if not, I can go take my wagon up there. Yeah, we can wait a little bit. I mean, Tori still makes a few weapons. So. Maybe even enough for tonight, but I don't like to be short, huh? Have you seen how many pickaxes we got in there? Yeah, quite a bit, right? Mm-hmm. It's good. I know I was up in Annisburg, and I didn't see him up there, so... Oh, okay. Well, you know, maybe he had some family thing. Who knows, huh? Yeah. I mean, if worse comes to worse, you know, it is what it is. We can't fucking, uh, I ain't gonna get, you know, burnt up over it. Yeah, no. I wish we had our own blacksmith, though. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna have to talk to him about that. Yeah, I mean, I had, uh, I was making a sawed of shotgun. Yeah. And, uh, I was standing at the table, and... Fell on the floor. What, in the process of, uh, your headache? <clears throat> yes. Mm. Yeah, so I, uh, asked the guy who comes and cleans and sweep over here to, uh, to see if he found it, huh? Yeah. Oh, that ain't good. I may be uh, in and out for a little bit, you know, the next two days as I uh, get this master fucking plan of mine with uh, Mr. Jones fucking working. Okay. I'm sorry, but... Yeah, it's okay. I don't care. 
you know, I would fucking do anything for anybody that I care about, so. No, I know, I know. Sales are good when you're not around, so. Oh, they are? Uh-huh. They're better when I'm not here, is what you're telling me? Well, you know, and I'm trying to, like, you know, smooth talk a, a customer. Sometimes you come off pretty harsh, you know? It's like, okay, Carlo, leave, let it go, you know? Yeah, I'll just shut up. Yeah, sometimes you have to. We have so many pickaxes, it's right to sell, buy, make people buy guns and shit all the time, even if they don't need it, huh? So, and yes, they might be a little difficult, but you know, I'll get them to buy something. You know? Yeah, I'm sorry, customer service ain't always been my, uh, you know, my, okay. my best thing. Uh, Mine not either, but you know, I'm, I'm here to make money, huh? Yeah, I got you. Speaking of money, are you good in the bank? Because I have... Yeah, I think I got like seven grand. Okay, I have 2,700, so... Yeah, you just hold on to it. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Trust me. I know, I just want to pay this damn thing off. Yeah, well, uh, Nikita gave me uh, 2,000 already, so... 2,200, something like that. Yeah, she told me when she walked in here. So I went from having almost 20,000 to having 7K now. Carla will live on in our clips. <laughs> you know, I don't want to put my nose in Mistilla's business, huh? but how much the hell is she making money if the, all that money was actually hers? Nikita. I was wondering the same thing, but uh, I didn't think... If you didn't feel comfortable saying it, I knew for fucking damn sure I wouldn't. Uh, I've, 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 I've tried to, to put my nose into a little bit, but, you know... I don't think you gotta really try to put that thing in anything, Vito. Uh, well, I know. I'll stick my nose in there, though, eventually. Yeah, I think you need uh, to. Oh, I will. Yeah, picks are like $200, Hello. I think. Hello, how are you doing today, sir? Can I interest Pretty you good. in buying a rifle? I have a special deal today. Oh, well, what is it about? What do you mean, what is it about? Are you interested? The, the deal. The, the deal. Oh, it well, depends. I spend it depends. So, it, so I have 20% off today. I might be able to... Uh, I'm still... I only have 200 to my name. I'm just uh, here wondering uh, how much would a uh, simple double barrel shotgun set me back for? You got a pickaxe, friend? Yeah. Pickaxe, yeah, I do. I'll buy your pickaxe for seventy-five dollars, and you'll be even closer. There you go. Ooh, okay. Let me go yeah. get some I ice. I, oh, I think I got I, I one have, I uh, have, yeah. when I first came into the boat. Uh, I'll go. I'll go check the uh, warehouse a little. Bit. Yeah, you so bring it back here. Stuff. We'll give you some money. You'll be even closer to the gun of your dreams, eh? There you go. Oh, yeah, okay. Actually, we could uh, for that kind of money. So if you have the two hundred dollars, don't don't go in this shop here in the catalog and then buy a cattle man. You're wasting your money, huh? Don't do that. Yeah, you yeah. Reg you regret it so hard. That thing is a piece of garbage, huh? But I tell yeah, you what, yeah. if you if you sell us that pickaxe, I'll make you a navy. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll I'll go check and the. That, uh, that, so you sell us a pickaxe with the two hundred dollar. I give you a navy. Does that sound good? You know what? I'll, yeah, I'll uh, good, fill it up with ammo too, Vito. Oh, aren't you nice? Look at that. You got the deal of a lifetime right here. All right, uh, yeah. Excuse me for a bit, sir. I'll go check the uh, the warehouse. That's where I get my stuff out. Yeah, good. Yeah, we'll be yes. here. Oh, we'll be here. Thank okay. you. Yeah, thank you. Nice work, Vito. Uh -huh. I'll be making the Navy. Yep. And uh, we'll have another pickaxe. Yep. Yeah, I was going to offer them exactly that. I was like, oh, but do we have a pickaxe? If you do, I'll... There we go, huh? Yeah, it's uh, the best deal in the fucking uh, Commonwealth. Oh, for sure. Don't be judging us. We gotta... We gotta be able to sustain these big freaking... Uh... You know, the prices we have in our prize book are all 20% off already, so you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you think the way I do, Vito. Uh-huh. Well, he still technically is. Because, you know... He's giving us the $200. 
Um, he's basically selling the pickaxe for a hundred. Because we sell the navies for three hundred, so. But when we get ten or twelve of us up to up to the mines, and we mine for like four hours. We go through pickaxes like crazy. If anybody hasn't already, try and get some good clips of that, uh, shit we were doing with the ladies. That was fucking hilarious. I'm not fucking good at voice impersonation, so. Does this keep happening to both of you? I don't mean to trip you, Lou. Sorry you about right that. Right oh. <laughs> oh, but don't sit on my face. Uh, oh. Actually, I mean, I don't mind. I mean, <laughs> but uh, not in public. Bob. Well, oh, uh, oh, oh, my. my. Oh. Oh. Lie, but I just like to introduce people I'm with. It was wonderful. Of course. Good because it's it's saloon mates. So says I. It was great. Thank you. Mm. If you need anything, if you need a cigarette or something to drink, just let me know, okay? Will do, thank you so no, much. No. Yes, of course. <laughs> hello, hello, Carlo. Oh, you no, look no, dapper. No. Look at that. The yeah. red suspenders why, why and the red tie. I like it. How did your uh your catering go? It went really well. I enjoyed that train ride. I, I'll tell you right now, we could probably make a lot of money on that train if we do it at least once every two weeks. But the one, the uh, catering? Mm hmm I think so. We just have to get more people buying tickets and getting on them. How many people was on that train? Mm hmm I'd say at the, uh, the maximum, so it's probably close to 20. No kidding. Mm hmm I didn't think anybody ever actually rode it. I was... it was quite... It was quite a ride, um, and they stopped at every station, we got to step off, have a cigarette, enjoy the uh, scenery, it was very nice, Carlo. We should actually, the boss's birthday is coming up soon, huh? Yeah. We should probably, like, rent a train for him, huh? Yeah. I think so. Have the whole family, you know, come out, we'll, like, make him his favorite cake, all that stuff, I think it'd be very nice takes a B-trail or something, apparently. Ron was telling me so there's a different route that the train can take. Really? Mm hmm mm. I think you would like that a lot. Everything good on your side, by the way? You know what I need? I need a fucking sugar. Yeah, That's I think I so. Get one. Okay, no. Susan. I have one. I have like eight. Jesus. That was oh, a nice group 20. of ladies who was just coming through town earlier. Hey, you Marshall missed Polly. them. Can I talk to you? A nice yeah. group of ladies and I missed them? Yeah. Why didn't you One of their names was uh, Carla. Carla? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, Carla without an O but an A. Like Carla. Okay, so eh? so. Mm -hmm. She kind of fucking looked like me if I'm going to be honest with you. So it's a lady who looked like you is what you're saying, <laughs> Carla. That's what really? people was telling me. They said that she looked just like me. Hmm. 
Is that my favorite banana man? Yeah, is that Mrs. Vanetti? Yeah, that it is. What happened to your hair? Has your hair always Hello, been this Mr. Wu, finds the way. Hey, I'm just a uh, little distraught. Drink? Huh? Oh, yes, please. Just a little okay, distraught. Okay, my friends, what can I get you? <laughs> Surprise me. Things. Surprise you, huh? Alright, I, I will do need just to that. Fix your hair, Carl. Are you it does not look good. Or thirsty? What's, what's yeah, I just got to cut. I need to get some. Uh... Okay, so you're more thirsty. Like, That's a, your day. like a mess. You've been sleeping alright, buddy? No, not at all. I gotta go get some freaking uh, hair pomade. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Excuse me, Marshall. Good to know that the grudge is still around. Hey, this is Marshall Maxwell. Carlo, come back. Yeah, I gotta go get something, friend. Hold on. Whispering keeps things private. His hair's Ain't all messed private. up. Hello. Howdy. Sir, can you help me to sell a pill? Howdy. How are you? I'm good in you. Good, thank you. <laughs> yeah, the hair is always like this. I don't think it's any different. Fuck. Hey, Vito, we got a job interview coming in. Did oh, that guy ever what? come back? Uh, Sorry about that, but uh, that I think I'm know. short by uh, $6. That's fine. No worries. Oh, uh, here's the pickaxe. Uh -huh. Bro, weird freaking timing. I literally said the guy come back and there he is right behind me. Well, Angelo's inside. Yeah, good. Thank you. I need a no. drink real bad. <laughs> There's Carlo. Carlo, see, you need to talk to him. Yeah. Who knows okay, sorry. Might be Angelo. I need a drink. Yeah, I'm getting you. Yeah, I'm getting it. I got him. Just okay. grab the stuff that you need. Uh, I did. Don't oh. get up here. Oh. Oh. Is he? Pepsi? Is he? Is he, is he okay? dead? Dead? Yeah, oh, get over here. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Don't do that. I think I might have given hey, those down. This is the heavy. I'll be outside. I would like to talk to Did you. Did you get those? Uh, no. Mm. All right, no problem. Okay. Appreciate you, no. folks. What? I did not. Listen, listen. How about All that? All right, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, of course. Miss Vanetti, come, come with me. Hey, Mr. Wu, I'm sorry. I'm a busy guy. I will get to you in a minute. No, you're fine. I'm just uh, relaxing here. I just bit my tongue on this cigarette. Oh, my God. 
Oh. Much painful. Are you gonna yell at me? No. Oh, God. I need uh, the services of your church. Do you? I think so. What kind of services? Which one? There's several. There's many. All right. When uh, when a doctor pronounces somebody dead, what's your involvement in it? What's my involvement in it? Yeah. Um. I have, wait. What do you mean? Just my answer the question. <laughs> You're confusing me. Just <laughs> answer the question. Uh, I mean, we're there to uh, say a prayer for the deceased. Um. To finally guide their spirit along to be accepted by the uh, hands of God. And be welcome, despite what they've done. Unless it's, like, severely bad. Um, when a doctor declares someone dead, we take a moment of silence, bow our heads, say the prayer, um, and console any family members who need it, I suppose, if that's what you mean. I mean, I don't know how to answer this, Carlo. You making me nervous. Well, I mean, you own the graveyard, right? Yeah. I know, uh... I know Mr. Crowley's like the, uh, the undertaker. Do you guys ever do anything like that? Yeah. In his I absence? Mean, I'm, I, I'm trained in, uh, undertaking. I was the undertaker in Armadillo for a year. All right, good. I need I you to, uh, I need you to fake bury somebody tomorrow who's going to be pronounced dead. Okay. No problem. Well, okay. I fake appreciate, bury. yes. They're not going to be really dead, but they're going to be pronounced dead by a doctor. Okay. I'm giving him some medicine that's gonna... Yeah, the doctor already is in on it all. Okay, good. All right. Um, I, okay, yeah, I would just need to know their name that on the day that it happens, I suppose, and... You ever heard of, normal... uh, Gentleman Jones? Never. The guy that, uh, all the cops are out looking for? Mm, no. I don't pay attention to that stuff. Good, good. Well, uh, he's gonna be pronounced dead tomorrow. Mm. Um... So, yeah, I need your services. Maybe yeah. a fake little funeral or something like that. We say, uh, you know, our Hail Marys and, uh, you know, have a, have a mass of sorts, you know? Of course, yeah. You can absolutely do that. Not a problem. Good, good. Hell and yeah. then uh, as soon as we bring out the shovel, you know, we mm -hmm. uh, put a little bit of dirt on him and he fucking uh, rises from the grave like Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, yes, the reckoning. Well, <laughs> I call it clouds. the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the, uh, the resurrection, you know? Ah, yes, the second coming of Christ. Yeah, well, uh, don't say that to him, because his fucking head's already too fucking big. <laughs> Reminds me of my brother. Okay, yeah, not a problem. I'll do that for you, bud. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that, uh, this didn't take too much convincing. I don't know, of course not. <laughs> I, 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 listen, I... <laughs> been through the ringer a couple times. Not the first time I've had to do something like this. Just well, I, I hope you understand. Uh, you know, this this gentleman will be uh, very much indebted to everybody involved. Oh, of course. No problem. He's literally the most wanted man in the Commonwealth, so... If we can fake his death, get the cops off his trail, and, uh, you know, we're working on getting his name changed, too, and uh, saying mm. that, you know, the gentleman Jones that we have is uh, being mis... Uh, you know, misidentified as the one that's mm. wanted. That's pretty smart. Um, unless he obviously has any uh, noticeable facial features. Like, you know, I have a scar on my face. My eye is fucking grayed out. Um, you know, yeah, that can get that can work. Yeah, I know. How, how is he supposed to die, then? Don't ask questions you don't want answers to. All right, Mrs. If I Benetti. didn't want the answer, I wouldn't have asked. We're going to shoot him. But uh, we're also mm. going to give him this uh, stuff called Wastabi Pie. Mm -hmm. It's from the Comanche. You ever heard of that? Yes. It's gonna throw his, uh, you know, his pulse real low. That way, uh, mm. the common lawmen would, uh, if they felt his pulse, it would be, uh, so low that, uh, they think he has no pulse at all. But, mm. uh, you know, when if, the, the doctor checks want, it. Yeah. So you said you're, a shooting is gonna be involved? I don't know. I, I haven't mm. ironed out all the pots. You got a better idea? No, I was gonna say, if that is the case, to make it more convincing, I can probably get, um, fill a little bag of, uh, blood put it under his coat or something, or vest. Make it a little more. You can do that? Oh, yeah. I've done it before. Yeah, I think we should do that. Yeah, I can do that. I can gather some. Not Maybe a make a, a whole big stage of it, you know? Oh, yeah. 
believe me. <laughs> I I got no problem doing that. That's fine. You uh so you've done this type of thing before, I gather. Yeah. Okay, good. You yep. sound experienced. I'm I'm glad oh, I came oh, yeah. to you. I oh, had no yeah. fucking clue if I'm being honest with you. Really? Yeah, I mean I, I knew you when the the father was had something shady about you, but you oh, know. Well, what do you mean? I don't know. I uh it's just a feeling <laughs> I get. Oh, okay. Like a sense of comfort, you know? Oh, yeah. I just go with my gut. But yeah, pretty well versed in this stuff, not the first time. Probably won't be the last. But, you know, I consider you a friend, and if it's helping you out, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, it's very much so helping me out. It's helping out a, uh, a very, very good friend of mine. Hmm. He's facing the noose, okay? He's got no other really? option. So, it's either he lives his life on the run, or we try and, uh, you know, get something figured out here. Yeah, I've seen plenty of hangings. I saw one today. Not pretty. Not a good way to go. Yeah, always remember, pictures are hung, people are hanged, okay? Oh, yeah. You know what I had to do for people who were uh, hung when they um when they no, died? it's hanged. Hanged? Hung? Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> um, if you want to be buried in a coffin, uh, also, don't make him be buried in a coffin because it's going to be awkward. Usually what I had to do as an undertaker to take care of the deceased, if they want to be buried in coffins, you have to uh, snap their... um. Downstairs. Um, all the blood rushes down there, so you have to snap it in order to oh get God. them in the coffin. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. If they're I had hanged. to do that three times. Yep. Uh, hmm. Hanged, um, sitting up, or laying down okay. on their back. Yep. Well, he ain't so gonna be really dead. Okay, well, just have him not request a coffin. <laughs> what, do we uh, request a cremation or something? Yeah, you could do that. That'd be actually more uh, convincing to... Yeah. Could do that. And maybe we get an end. Yeah, I could probably find one laying around. I have spares. Don't, Don't ask me why I have spares. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. That way, uh, nobody can ever try and dig up the body. Mhm. Mm yeah, we're It'd gonna be a lot more easier. Yep, we're gonna cremate him. That's it. I I fucking Although, made my mind up. Cre cremating someone will take some time. Um, and we ain't actually gonna fucking cremate him. We're gonna grab some no, fucking I'm ashes you, from a, I'm a you, fire you, it's time pit. No, I'm telling you, time to get the urn, dumbass, to make it more believable. No, I get you. God. But yeah, no, we can absolutely do that. Uh, is there, I'm sorry, did you say a time yet, or? Not yet. Okay, well, let me know. Happy to help. I appreciate it. We'll, oh, of course, uh, Carlo. We'll be in touch, okay? Oh, yeah. Good, Always good. around. All right, Mrs. Vanetti. Mm -hmm. Your mother Teresa, you know that? <laughs> I don't that even, wouldn't oh, go that far. I don't even know who that is. Never heard of I'm her. just a little lady, that is all. A little priest lady. Yeah, sure. What, what do you mean, yeah, sure? Excuse you. I said yes, sir. Oh, sir! I, I meant madam. Sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you soon when I get a, de a plan out, okay? Yeah, yeah, be safe. Yep. So there it is, folks. Fucking plan is set. All the puzzle pieces are together. Now we just gotta action it. But it's gotta be tomorrow. right? Cut. I don't even think those are a thing. But if this pans out, this is gonna be epic. There are certainly ways that people can power game this, but I really hope that everybody involved looks at this with the creativity and, you know, understanding of how much, you know, RP went into this. Like, you can absolutely power, <clears throat> power game this as being, like, you know, un not believable, but I'm really, really hoping that for RP's sake it doesn't happen. Having some faith.
dude. It's going to be an epic, epic stream tomorrow. How you doing? <clears throat> How you doing, Marshall? I'm all right. Still a virgin, just like every yeah, other this is This is Virgin DeLuca. Yeah, don't uh, don't say your name's uh, Virgil. Trust me, I got a, I got somebody who's out gonna take a hit out on Virgil. No, no, no. This is Virgin. I'm this not saying I, was, I didn't say I was anybody. I just said I. You have to qualify as a virgin to be a marshal. So. Hmm. I'll, uh, I don't know. Wait, doesn't he have kids? I think so. They're probably not his. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you guys ain't, uh, ain't gonna see much of me tomorrow. I got a, a big plan that I could put a lot of fucking things together that's gonna finally come together tomorrow. Oh, You're yeah? You're talking about, uh, what you mentioned to me briefly earlier? Yeah, involving Nikita, huh? No, I didn't hear that part. Eh, nothing to worry about. <clears throat> uh -huh. I'm talking about the thing with the train you mentioned earlier. Yeah, I mean, I got to tell uh, Angelo about it, but I don't know where he went. Oh, I'm saying, but that's not what you're talking about tomorrow. Oh, no, I will not be fucking partaking in any of that tomorrow. What's that? Robin trains. Uh, hey, buddy, you want to get the fuck off my horse, huh? Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, you just hey, jump yeah, on horses yeah, yeah, now, Yeah, 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 yeah. Careful, what? careful, careful. Right, don't be sorry, doing sorry. that. Mine is exactly jumping on my horse, mister. I'm sorry about that. I ain't no horse thief. You're all right, friend. You're all right, friend. Follow. Come on. Okay, misunderstand. You just good, don't man. take my you're horse good. either. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, That's look, good. look. You see that? Uh, this one right here. I honestly thought that that was mine. This is mine right here. The white one. She act crazy sometimes, but she good. All right. Sorry about that, Mr. Wu. If you want to come down to the shop. Oh me? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, oh. I'm a really fucking busy guy. Don't know your friend. Oh, look who it is. You. Hey, you, how you, doing? you got a delivery ready or are you going to make one? No, I got one for you. Okay. Meet me at the shop. Yep. Uh, well, I'll be there. Uh, Next. how much uh, do I owe you and how much did you get? Uh, I did the 80 you were asking for. Wonderful. I got 80 bars yep. and then, uh... Uh, just, uh, the f it'd be six per, six per, and, uh, so 480, is that right? Yep. I'll go grab it. I think I could probably fit them in my pocket. Yeah, I think you can get 50 at a time, I believe. There you are. Oh, did it not fucking go in your pocket? Yep, it did. Thanks, sir. Mm -hmm. There's 50. Hey, Vito. Pipe delivery. Oh, wonderful. Angelo's looking for you over there. Yeah, Angelo, can you, uh. Oh, fuck. I have so much shit to do. You guys already said it was okay. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay, good. Uh, do I need to help grab something? Or I you? have the other 30 right here for you if you just want to take Oh, it. yeah, sure. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, fellas. Wonderful, wonderful. I was uh, in need of those. Oof, I was getting scared. We're going to oh, run really? out. Oh, excuse me, fella. No, you're fine. You boys, anything else? Everything else looking all right? Yeah, how many pipes was that today delivered? That was 80. 80? Oh, yeah, definitely one more. Yes, uh, 30 of the iron. Sir, appreciate you. You know, if you want to put in the order, I can uh, facilitate everything else then. Sure, uh, for tomorrow? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, uh, let me, how many, uh, how much more plates do we have? We'll have, uh, we'll have 50 more plates. I mean, uh, okay. bars after that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have like, more uh, bars that I can make when, uh, when I go smelting. Alright, 
I, I would say 600 plates and another 100 pipes. Yeah, you want that as soon as possible? Uh, tomorrow would be nice, or even. Yeah, yeah I can do it tomorrow, for, absolutely. Yeah, that, that'll work tomorrow. Okay, 600 plates and you said 100 pipes, right? Yep. All right, I'll have it for you tomorrow. Here, Carlo, 600 plates, 100 pipes. Good, good. All right, I think I, what, 20 more? Yes, sir. Sorry. No, you're fine. Thanks, thank you. Yep, and I'll have the iron and everything. All right, perfect. Hey, Vito, this is Mr. Yes. Wu. Could you uh, mm -hmm. do a quick interview on him, please? I got to talk to Angelo about something. Yeah, sure. I'm sorry. I don't mean to dump this on your plate. No, it's all good. Okay. Thanks, Carl. I appreciate you. I'll, you know, uh... I... Oh, sorry. No, you're good, friend. I'll plan on being around here. You're usually about the same time I'm around here, so, uh... Any uh, luck on your blacksmith, you. friend? Uh, not yet, but I'll keep you updated. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'll plan on delivering tomorrow around this time if that works for you. Yeah, it works perfectly fine. Maybe by then I'll have uh, quite a few more iron bars, too, so... <laughs> Sounds good. Appreciate all right. you. Alright. Sorry, Andrew. What's going on? It's fine. What's going on? I got two things. You want the uh the short one or the long one first? Uh which one am I gonna be less annoyed with? Uh are they both the good news one. or are they both are they both bad? Are... One's uh one's really good news, the other's uh Start with the good. I need something good right now. Alright, I know Let's... where to get the train and I know when. Okay. That's really good. Yeah. Like right so, now? Uh, what do you mean right now? Like, is it always there or is it still moving? Uh, no, it's, it's there. Is it, uh, is it, uh, well, fuck. Yes, does everybody know or what? No, only I fucking know. Uh, okay. All right. There's a certain time you gotta do it at, too. Okay. Okay. Uh... You gotta write it to me? Yeah, write it to me. Yeah, I got you. Alright. There you go. Uh. Oh, did I not fucking mark on the map where? Yeah, no. Is that the time though? That's the time that I wrote. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then uh. Okay. Right here is the other part. There you go. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Well, that, you know, saves me hours. Don't say I never fucking try to help you out with anything. Do you, do you know? Do you know how fucking long we like? We, there was like six of us, and we fucking had like two kind of by the train. We stopped. We went train by train all the way through like the upper Rockies, all the way like from Annisburg to fucking like past you know Strawberry, and then all the way back. Yeah. Well. And, like, uh, yeah. Get your fun in tonight, okay? Because tomorrow we got business to take care of. Fuck yeah! I mean, yeah. Wait, wait. That's or what? No. A man's gonna die tomorrow, and he's gonna come back from the grave. Did you hear me? Are you, are you like, faking your death? No, not me. It's gonna be Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones? Who's that? Gentlemen. Oh, what happened? Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Long story oh, he... short, his, uh, his death is gonna be faked. I've got some stuff to slow his heart rate down to, uh, the point where only a trained doctor would know that, you know, he's still got a pulse. Mm-hmm. Alright. He's gonna be, uh, taken to the doctor's office and he's gonna be shot. If a lawman fucking finds him, the lawman's not going to be able to feel a pulse. But, uh, Nikita's going to be the one who fucking finds him, right? Mm hmm And, uh, Nikita's going to be the one who pronounces him dead. Mrs. Vanetti's going to be doing the, uh, the funeral. 
Mm -hmm. He's gonna get cremated. And, mm -hmm. uh, he's gonna live his life without the fear of fucking, uh, these bounties and lawmen's looking for him. So, uh, here's a question, okay? Mm -hmm. Quick. Why don't we just bury him and go dig him up? Instead of them, you know? Because, listen. Yeah. They're gonna fucking look for a body. They're gonna know there's not a body in there if it ever fucking gets dug up. It's true. Yeah, I know. They fucking put a lot of thought into this, Angelo. Good plan. It's good plan. Is that, is that the long one? Yeah, but, uh, so we got an attorney, and, uh, I think we're gonna have him put in some paperwork that says that, uh, you know, Gentleman Jones, there's a couple of them, and this one would like his name changed to something else because he keeps getting confused mm -hmm. for the other Gentleman Jones. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not even... What? Damn thing. Like, like, he should be good, yeah. I mean, honestly, like, the, the fucking, the county clerk wouldn't even know the difference between, you know, it's not like law is fucking looking at, you know. Hmm, interesting though. Good, that's a good plan. I'm, I'm excited. When you, you need me or what? At what time? Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna know what I'm gonna fucking do. But I wanted you to hear my plan and uh, let me know if it was stupid or not. We get the medicine. I mean, you know, if he dies, I guess fuck it, he's dead, right? But, uh, you know, if he doesn't, then yeah, well, how much is he paying? Uh, we haven't discussed that, but I feel like it's my, uh, my duty to help him out, you know? Yeah. Well, how much is his bounty? Uh, I think it's, uh... We gotta go over here. So the lawmen are offering a thousand dollars to anybody who brings him in dead or alive. That yeah, I'll shoot him. His, downy, his bounty is. Yeah, I'll shoot him. That's a free thousand. But he ain't gonna die. Yeah, I know, but he, they don't know that. So I'll shoot him, like, uh, you know, like, probably, uh, you know, close to the heart, but not really, like, probably, like, uh, I don't know, like, like, right there, you know what I mean? Like, close to it, but not close enough, and then they're like, oh, yeah, you hit his heart. He's yeah, well, dead. he's gonna have to take some of this fucking medicine that's, uh, gonna slow his heart rate down so fucking low. It's called Wasabi Pie or something. I got it from the Comanches a while ago. Yeah, I mean, as long as, you know, as long as he doesn't lose too much blood, yeah, he'll be fine. We'll have Nikita, like, you know, patch it up. We'll hit him with a small caliber, like a cattleman or something, huh? Yeah. Well, uh, Mrs. Vanetti's apparently got her hands on some, uh, fake blood, so... Um, we'll be able to, uh, you know, really scotch it up. I don't think you understand how long I put into this fucking plan. If this fucking plan doesn't come together, I'm gonna scream. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm saying that's... I mean, it's a solid plan. I'm just saying, I don't know. I mean, like, how are you gonna fake the bullet run? We can't. That's gonna have to be real. That's what I'm saying, and then he's dead. I mean, we don't even need the fake blood. Let's make it real blood. I mean, the fake blood will be better. We can spread that shit everywhere and make it look, you know, like it's really bleeding bad, huh? Yeah. Like, he's a squirter. Oh my god, he's a squirter, you know? You know? Yeah. Yeah, no, I think, uh, yeah. And then, I'm, you know, I'll be like, yeah, I shot him. <laughs> and then I'll be like, yeah, I want my bounty. Alright, well, uh, I'll let you know before it happens tomorrow. Wait, I just want to... Wait, hold on. Who, who should... Uh, I'll have fucking Leon shoot him. Oh, no. I need somebody not really associated with the group, huh? No, I don't think it's... a Madison fucking shoots him. Fuck. Yeah, I'll just be like, yeah, I already had a thousand dollar bounty and fucking came up talking shit. So I yeah. shot him. Inside the doctor's office. Yep. Right outside of the doctor's office, yeah. Yep. Alright, well that's the plan. I need I guess I need to talk to Nikita about where's the best place to shoot him that'd be like real no, close to I, the heart, so I don't yeah, gotta... I would just do it on his uh his right side, you know. Why is the heart on the left? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it on the right. I guess I'll have to puncture along a bit, right? I'll be asleep. Okay. Well, that's good shit. Uh, yeah, you like just my to, plan? Just wake me up. I'll be next to you. Yeah, that's good. The only All thing right. I see, the only, the only problem I see is the cremation, okay? Why? We can stuff well, some if, fucking if random there and they, it. It's true. But if, what if a lot takes us all the way to the freaking mm. the, the, the crematory? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Who cares? Have Crowley grab. Oh, no, you're a fucking Undertaker, actually. No, I'm not. That. Oh, yeah. Probably get Crowley grab. Maybe him. I could get some approval to do it. I mean, no, I've already I've fucking been hired. I crafted. Yeah, yeah, you do that. Yeah. You get Crowley to grab him, huh? Yeah. I Nobody was crashing if Crowley took him away, huh? Yeah, I gotta Especially get a hold Cooper. of him. Alright. Alright, All right, I'm heading out.
Take care. Good plan. I love it. Thanks for the other one. Yep. How did that go, Vito? Vito, how did that interview go? Uh, not very well. Why? So I had him come in here, or I had him stand behind here, and I came in, buy some arrows, and I had him try to sell me something. And uh, he was not able to sell anything at all. Why is that? Because he is not a salesperson. And you think I am? There. Huh? You think I am? Well, I know, but that, the other part, the, okay, so that's one problem one. And problem two is he, uh, he only works evenings, which will, I'm already here, so there's not an issue there. Yeah. Well, not, I, I, would, I say no. All right. That's easy enough. I want somebody here that walks, anybody who walks in this building needs to either sell me something for a good price or I, I, I sell them something to them for, for a lot of money. that so we have by the way another pickaxe <laughs> good we have 10 here i don't know how many we have over in annisburg do we need to stop i think i got like five up in annisburg <laughs> okay so we got like 15. yeah Damn. okay do we stop at 20. sure okay <laughs> yeah but he, he, i don't know Carlo, if anybody any customer walks in here i want them i want them to buy something i want them to feel good too uh, the guy there the, just a minute ago i'm sure he, he mr wu actually stood here and stuff and kind of looked how i was trying to sell to the guy that just walked in and he, he just, we didn't have a lot but i got his pickaxe and stuff but i guarantee you he's gonna come back for a pistol if not today this will be tomorrow huh yeah absolutely so, so he didn't just... buy the, he, you didn't get him the navy oh no th th this was a different guy okay Oh, were you listening to that one? I guess maybe. The guy with the red shirt? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I was trying to sell him a navy, but he, uh, he, did. he wanted to get a horse. I said, oh, absolutely. No, so, I mean, we gotta be... A horse will serve him better right now. I, uh, I got Angelo a location of a train. Oh, wonderful. Good. Another one, huh? Yeah. So, so, so do we do we finally know what it needs to be uh, what they what they demand to have for the location of that train to get that started? I don't know. Yet. One of my sources uh, came to me and gave it to me. Ah, not the misfits, is it? No. Yeah, I had a meeting with them earlier. How did that go? Not very good. Uh, talked to Dragon and Alan. Al Alonzo, sorry. Ah, calling him Alan. No, it's Alonzo. He doesn't look Italian at all, though. Hello, sir. Can I help you? Good morning. Yeah, I hope no one leaks yeah, it, too, at this point. It. Well, that's a lost sale. Anyway. It would, it would be meta if it was leaked. Plain and simple, because we've not really told anybody. But, yeah, so I had a little talk with them, and they said that they wondered if the... Uh, well, thinking that the notes, those um, bank notes, huh? Yeah. Probably, uh, those were meta. I've got uh, nine of them, like the, not the bank notes, but the, uh, what are they called? They're like, uh, stocks Power and bonds. Notes. Yes, yeah, that thing. I don't know if that's true, they don't know for sure either, but they, they, they that might be it. They definitely need something, people. They require something supposedly. Anyway, I got them in, in, in touch with, uh, uh, Angelo, who uh, they wanted to get into the uh, into the liquor business, huh? Yeah. Hey, Vito, uh, it looks like somebody fell out out here. So. Oh, no, no, no. Are you okay? Get him inside and dry, huh? You okay, sir? I was trying to ignore okay, it. But careful. You okay? Hello? Ready? Yeah. 
Uh, I'm gonna get it to the doctor. Okay. Later. Yeah, probably. Yeah, hello, is there a doctor in? I think he might have fallen out from not oh, drinking I anything. See. That's not good. I'm trying to find Nikita. Holy hell. Say that right. You want to go see? Anybody here first aid uh, trained? He might be starving too. Well, this dude should have a look. So you guys seen Nikita? Oh my god. Uh, uh, she's not around. Not. She might be around uh, right after the storm or right before it. Oh god. Sorry, buddy. You're gonna have to. Uh... <laughs> That's alright. I appreciate it. I'm just glad you didn't rob me from my one dog. Just remember, unconscious people can't talk, okay? Hey, you got like a four dollars, Mr. Slade. Four dollars, I have zero dollars. All right, let me go get this guy some money. And I'll uh, stay here with the make sure you don't wander off. All right, thank you. So is she renting it or did she buy it? I never really asked her. I mean, I'll obviously find that answer out in character, but... If she doesn't make any money, like you guys are telling me. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask her. All right, Nancy, there's your money. Fucking take care of him, okay? Uh, what happened to him? Did he slip in his head? Yeah, I think he, uh, he didn't eat nothing. Mm, happens to the best of us. All right, buddy. You can make it. You just gotta, you gotta do what Nancy's telling you to do, okay? Hello, friend. The what Nancy's telling you. Come on. What the fuck? You got money, friend. Come on. You can make it. Don't fucking die on me. Let me, uh, let me see. <clears throat> hey, uh, partner. Do you want to, uh, have her revive, rev you, you know? Think about that real quick. You know, if you want to live. Yeah, I think he was, uh... I don't really think you probably want to see, uh, you know, what do they say, uh, Carlo the Pearly Gates? Yeah, I think, uh, come on, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the money to pay for Nancy. Let's do it. There, there you go. go. Uh, there you go. There you go. 
All right, let's not forget to eat, okay? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, let's not forget to eat. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, probably a good idea. Help, something. Hey, thank, thank you. What do you got going on today, Carlo? Busy? Uh, never too busy for you. What's up? You want to have a chat? Oh, no, no, no. I just uh, came to uh, say to to see if you are about. And, uh, you know, I'll just think of me as your shadow. I'm not here. I'll just follow you around, spend some time with you. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be in the gun shop if you want to come in there. Oh, don't mind. Don't mind. Right. We'll go that way. Not too much uh, excitement in the gun shop, but, uh, you know, that guy did fucking fall out in front of it, so I guess that's uh, yeah, exciting, yeah. huh? I guess that's your excitement for the day, yes. Oh, you have no fucking clue. That don't even <laughs> fucking scratch the surface. <laughs> Alright, let me put this over here. Yep. Make yourself at home. Come on in. Gumbo, how you doing, friend? As best as I can, sir. What about yourself? Yeah, better that I see you, my friend. Likewise. Giving you uh, some business. You know, we appreciate you, Combo. I do, too. So what do you think, huh? It's beautiful. I don't think I've really been in here. I think you I've been in the hurry. Yeah, this is, uh, this you, is my you. gun shop. I, uh, I just purchased it the other day. Oh, congratulations, congratulations. Yeah, until you find out what my fucking loan is, you wouldn't be saying that, you know? <sighs> let, let me guess, 5,000. Uh, like 18,000. Ooh, that hurts. That yeah, right okay. there. Let's jump mm. change the Puginis. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I, we can probably have it paid off in a week if we fucking keep busting that tail oh, like oh, we are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, as far as I've known, the, uh, this business is very profitable. I mean, you have a great reputation here, so. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Mr. Sinclair, I don't know how he couldn't make any fucking money here. You can basically print it out, going in this shop. Well, maybe it wasn't the shop or the business, it was the person, like that, you know? Like yeah, perhaps. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the people make the business, not the, uh, you know, the, the building or the vessel. It's more about the, uh, the people, the company. Yes. I agree. What you been up to? Ah, <sighs> running around in this fucking storm. Busy business. Nothing exciting, a little bored, a little drab, you probably think. What about you? What have you uh, been, uh... My friend, if only you knew. Yeah. I've, I've been busy. Trying to, busy. uh... Trying to get, like, 17,000 things know. done at once. Oh, I know how you feel. Do you ever feel like you, uh, do so much, but at the same time do so little in one day? Yeah, I do. Like, I feel huh? like I haven't accomplished anything today. Exactly. But I guarantee you that uh, I've done a lot. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that every day. I'm running around. I'm, I'm asking questions. I'm having meetings. But then I sit down and think about it. I'm like, what did I really do today? Yeah, not a damn thing. That's kind not of the same thing. thing I have. Yeah. Yeah. It is a endless cycle. Mm. Do you mind if I look around? No, by all means. Do what you gotta right. do. Right. Good deal there. Hi, Drake. No. All right. Good call. I really don't drink enough water. I used to drink like a gallon of water a day. Ugh. Shit. Appreciate everybody hanging around. If you aren't already, shoot a follow. Please and thank you. Always try and uh, have some good uh, slow burn RP, criminal side stuff, so. Try to stream like uh, three, four, sometimes five days a week. Yeah, this place is beautiful. Yeah, I like it a lot. I got a nice patio out back and, uh, you know. Mm. I'll show it to you. Take a look. Okay. Here. Got this big heavy door. Yeah, when it ain't pouring rain, I like to come out here and, uh, you know, Tent to the garden a little bit. Yeah. This is actually very nice. Yeah, and then I got my meeting spot up here. I 
I will say I got a crazy fucking neighbor who lives up here, so. Hey, crazy neighbor. What do you mean by that? Uh, just trust me. All right, I'll take your word for it. You don't want to know. Is it, uh, Morag? No, it's Meemaw. Me I was gonna, Meemaw was next. I was gonna yeah, say that. Yeah, Meemaw lives in there. I fucking love her. Wait, is she in there right now? No, I think she's, uh, passed out. Met Meemaw last night at the telegram station. Yeah? Yeah, she sold some lady a $200 coffee. Oh, so, fucking hell. Yeah, the I'd kind of just... better been uh, made of gold. I don't know what was in it, but I would have longed for it, you know, so, uh, you know. She must be a hell of a sales lady, huh? She was. I would have bought one if I had money. <laughs> she did great. $200 fucking coffee. $200 yeah, coffee. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And the lady thought it was worth it, too. She was thinking it profusely over and over. I thought it was quite interesting. Yeah, this is my meeting spot, so this is where I do business. It's kind of unconventional, Ooh. but, you know. I mean, it works. It's just open. Ah, oh. that doesn't open. If only yeah. right. That's the grand tour. I mean, it's nice. Yeah? It How works. are you guys coming along in Limpany? Oh, you will like this. Um, we are having construction done. Are you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's going to be a brand new town. No shit. Most part. Well, you guys oh, deserve yeah. it. Oh, yeah. We've been working very hard, and I appreciate that. I so figure all be, that gold has uh, got to be worth something, right? I mean, what the thing is, uh, the majority of the gold is, you know, people coming down. We really don't go there and there. Everybody else does. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but uh, cool. it's going to have a bank, uh, a fighting ring, and all that stuff. Okay. All the okay. amenities every town needs. Oh, uh, yes. I'm drop it on the ground there, okay? Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be great. I uh, spoke to Tilly. And I was yeah. telling her that um, when the time's right, when we do do the grand opening, cut the ribbon on the town, you guys are more than welcome to come on down. Yeah, come on, you guess. better believe we'll be Double there. check that everything's Oh, around. yeah, it's going to be a, uh, what do they call them, a night to remember. Mm -hmm. I like those, my friend. I really do. Oh, look at that, huh? But, uh, yeah, no, like Mr. Vito. I'm amazing work, sir. contemplating you. getting you a higher blue or not. Those things are like killing machines. A what? A higher yeah, blue. Great. What's that? It's different. You oh, don't know what a hot air so balloon is. No. Oh, a hot work. air balloon. A hot air balloon. Yes, okay, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So you take care now, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well. I went to those one time. I thought I was gonna die. It was so shaky. Mr. Carlo, by the way, Vito, as always, he's doing an amazing job. Just made me a beautiful gun. Combo. What did you get? Volcanic. Oh, take a look at that. That's a showstopper right there, Gumbo. You know that? Just like me. It'll stop somebody's show for sure. You'll fucking knock them right out. Indeed, indeed. All yeah, right, Mr. Gumbo, you take care. Yep. Have a good one, Gumbo. Stay dry, friend. If it will. Yeah, so... You're gonna have a fucking hot air balloon. Just don't let me fucking drive it. I fucking crash them things all the time. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm glad you told me that, because you're never to get in a hot balloon when I'm in there. So thank yeah, you. never, 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 never. <laughs> do you mind if I smoke in here? I do not. In All fact, right. I prefer it. I hear it's uh, got good health benefits when you uh, breathe in somebody else's smoke. Mm -hmm. What do they call that? Uh, what is it? Uh, like a second hand, maybe. That's what it is, second hand. Yeah, I heard it's um, healthier. You yeah, know? I, don't, I don't get, you know, it fucking doesn't make me addicted to them like it would if I'm smoking them, I would think. I'm not gonna lie, that's very smart. So I could have somebody smoke it and I could just breathe the smoke. Yeah. Mm, None so of the I'm wiser. Getting, so I'm getting addicted while you are getting your fix. Yep. You got me there. Smart. Eh, you know. Nobody said I wasn't. That's all. I mean, that's very true. Very true. So what's up? Do you mind up? me at? Hmm. You, uh, you need any guns or anything? Uh, yes, yes, eventually, but not right now. You I know, I could uh, probably... make some deals with you hmm. as far as guns for uh, gold bars and stuff. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm interested. I'm all ears. Well, no, I, uh, I could treat gold bars like, uh, like, for example, if, uh, you guys ever wanted, like, an elephant rifle or something, right? Ah, uh, okay, okay. You know, I think that costs me, uh, what's it, three gold bars, Vito? Uh, the elephant one? Yeah. Alright, uh, what about if I just want to trade gold bars for, like, a, a bolt action or something like that? 
Uh, I do, boy. Is it because you make oh. um the um what is it? What is it? The yellow for rifle uses gold. Yes. Yeah. Every uh every like exotic type weapon I uh I burn your gold bars with. All right, that's fair. So how many gold bars? What do you want for elephant rifle? So for an elephant rifle, I would probably need five gold bars and two hundred dollars. That ain't bad at all. I could make that a, a deal for you, boys. I'm gonna put this in my notes if you don't mind. Yeah, please. Five gold bars and uh, two hundred dollars. I mean, that's uh that's like a five thousand dollar fucking gun. Hello. Hello. You could even turn around and fucking sell it for that much. I don't care. How's you going? Yeah, what's up, Teddy? Oh, hi. <laughs> Uh, Carl, can I talk to you for a minute? Mr. Slade, would you excuse me for a couple seconds? That by means do your thing. Yeah, thank you. Come on up. All right, Carlo, I'm taking a bath, and then I'll, uh, I'm gonna get some screws, huh? Okay, I'll be around, Vito. Uh -huh. Never ending, guys. This is your office up here? Oh, my God. Yeah, you know that, Teddy. Alright, what's up? Okay. Um I can't I... alright, whatever. So I was uh, up in Yannisburg. I don't know if you know like Dimitri and them up in Yannisburg. Yeah. Are you friends with them or the no. Poutini's cool with No? I mean we've never really I mean to my knowledge I've never fucking talked to them, but I think uh, are, are... we ain't enemies to my knowledge. Okay. Well, so, one of the things that we're trying to do is get one of us set up for blacksmithing. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that would be good for everyone, right? Yeah. Like for, I mean, for your group and for, for our group, just to have someone that we know that's close that's a blacksmith, right? I don't know if you have a blacksmith connect or not. I do. But it's always good to have another one. It's so hard to fucking get a hold of sometimes. Yeah, it, it is. And, and that's kind of why we also want to... So I'm trying to become a blacksmith, right? Okay. And there's apparently someone up in Annisburg by the name of Ted Whitney. I don't know if you know of him. Yeah, I know him really well. Yeah, he he's he's willing to to put, bring me in as a blacksmith, allowing me to do whatever I want as a blacksmith. You know, I don't have to like like I'm under I'm worked under him, like certified under him. But what did he tell you this? When did he? Yeah. Uh, I just talked to him like 20 minutes ago. And he said, uh, when did he say he could do it? Uh, I mean, well, here's the thing. He's willing to do an exchange for it. Yeah, that's, which is what? Uh, he wants to know a little bit about the moon shining. This fucking prick's trying to go behind my back. That, that, yeah, that's why I, I wanted to tell you first, because I know you're in, you're, you're into the moon shining stuff, so... No, he's supposed to fucking be... Oh, this fucking prick. Are you kidding me? He's my fucking blacksmith. He's supposed to be hiring one of my guys. Oh, oh will we? Yeah, he's fucking going behind my back. Uh-oh. I appreciate you telling me this. But yeah, I just... Uh, I wanted to let you know about that first, because I know that you're... You helped us a lot with the moonshine, and so... Yeah, I mean, but if yeah. it ends up being you, uh... Hmm. I'm at a fucking loss for words. This guy was supposed to be fucking loyal to me. I, uh, was gonna help him out with the machines. Yeah, that's what he- that's what he wanted. He wanted the- the moonshine machine. No, he- I was talking about the other stuff. Oh, okay. Hmm. <sighs> Well, he said he's he is allowed to two people, so maybe he's trying to work towards hiring us both. I don't know, but he said if he can get a hold of the moonshine recipe, he'll hire me on. Yeah, I can't give the moonshine recipe. Fuck that. Yeah. That was never the deal. I ain't giving that up. No fucking way. Fuck that. That guy said that. He's dead. He is fucking dead. You hear me? 
It might just he, be your fucking blacksmithing company here soon. Maybe. If uh, if you want to uh, salvage this opportunity, I suggest you go up there and you tell him that uh, you told me. Otherwise, he ain't gonna fucking make it. Okay. I feel I feel like it's uh, I may have started a war. There's no such thing as a war when, uh, you know, a little country like him is going against this big fucking superpower called the poor genies. And, uh, you know, we ain't fucking going to war yet and people have no fucking clue what we're going to be capable of. No fucking clue. I will fucking end him. So I, uh, if I were you and, uh, you know, you want this opportunity. And you know what? I do a lot of fucking favors for your group. So you're going to do me a favor and you're going to fucking go up there and you're going to fucking tell him exactly this. That he's going to fucking cross me. And it's going to be the last thing he fucking did. Go deliver that message for me, please. Okay, yeah, perfect. I have his telegram. Let me just send him one? No, I want you to go up there to his face and tell him. <laughs> okay. I'll do that. Okay, that's fine. And I need it done right now, please. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. Uh, Bell, are, do, you, are, do you have swats for apprentices? Maybe. I just don't trust Bellamy yet. Oh, you don't trust him? Okay. I but can't yeah, just, be having uh, that kind of fucking shit around here, but we can talk about that after you deliver the message. Yeah, that I might, could uh, do that. That make, make, might make me a little more receptive, okay? Yeah, I could do that. That's fine. All right, thank you. Yeah. I'll be here, Teddy. You let me know yeah. what his fucking reaction is. Tell him he's gonna end up dead if he fucking tries to cross me again. I think I can have five, not counting myself. I'm lost. <laughs> yeah, you want to go out this way. You know what? I'm coming with. You gonna come with me? Okay. Yeah. Going boing. Oh, yeah. I came in on a donkey, so I don't, I don't have a horsey. All right, let's go. Time to send this guy a fucking message. Yeah. Was, so I'm assuming we can talk about it on the way up. I'm getting really fucking sick and tired of this shit. Well, people going behind your back? Yep. This is gonna fucking stop right here, right now. Well, I always got your back, Harwell. People fucking snooping in the shit that they don't fucking deserve to fucking be snooping into. It's fucking stops here. And my horsey's dead too, so I might have All to right. ride back your horsey. See my horse? Yeah. Oh, one. Uh, you're you're hopping off of it. Motherfucker.
Yeah, it was given to me. How about now, Teddy? I don't even see the horsey now. Motherfucking horses. <gasps> All right, we're grabbing my wagon. Okay. We're fucking stealing the horse. Let's go. Yeah, Carlos pissed. Fucking cuss. Steady. Yeah, you should be. I didn't know that this guy was like supposed to twist you or whatever. You were supposed to twist him. No, that's all fucked. But yeah, he said he would, he would, uh, he would fire one of his guys for me if I gave him the the moonshine recipe. He said that. Yeah, that's what he said. Did you tell him you had it? I mean, regardless if I did or not. I mean, I told him I did, but regardless if I told him or not, it doesn't mean I'm gonna, I was gonna do it, right? I mean, just, so like, you guys think of it like this, right? If someone else had it and gave the same proposition that he did, that I did with him, right? He would just take it then, right? So it, it can be anyone. If anyone has this moonshine recipe, which I don't think many do, but if they did, and it came to him about it. it. And he ain't gonna be the second. That's for damn sure. But yeah, that's uh. Fucking he basically said if, if I gave him the moonshine pops. recipe, I would. Or he would uh. Hire me on as a black key smith. Yeah, no kidding. Yep. Teddy has been one of the longest, uh, longest running people that's been around with Ratty's group. He's been a day one for us, so Carlo trusts Teddy as much as he would trust Ratty. <sighs> I'm just trying to fucking think about what I'm gonna fucking say to this prick, that's for fucking sure. I don't even know that I'm gonna be able to say much at all and might just fucking hit him with the fucking butt of my gun. Yeah, do what you gotta do. It ain't often I fucking ride a horse. You can tell I'm fucking pretty pissed about this. I usually fucking, uh... Take my time in a fucking nice wagon ride. Yeah. I ain't even fucking fired this gun yet. And you might. I don't know if he's still wound, uh, but he was when I left. I know Dimitri's up here too, the gunsmith, and apparently they they work together, so. And they, and they are part of a group. 
Uh, yeah, I could give two fucks about that group. We already fucking gave him Messi once. It's not gonna fucking happen again. We could have fucking ended him, but we told him we'd fucking let him survive. If I wouldn't know about this, I wouldn't have even came to him in the first place. But I guess it's good that you found Dale White. Yeah, no shit. They know that I got a fucking snake in my house. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Was that him with you? No. Oh. Oh, that's them. Huh? That's them with you. It's the Whitney. I'd like to have a word with oh, you, please. I He's probably scared as fuck now. Oh, yo, he turned around. Hey, let's go have a yeah, chat up by the water real quick. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Teddy, why don't you come along? Oh, I thought that was Teddy. I guess it should come as no surprise why I'm here, right? Uh, what's going on? Teddy, uh, mm -hmm. tell me about your conversation you just told me about. Essentially, I came up with be a blacksmith why I was asking around. And, uh, I told him a little bit about myself to these fellas. And apparently they, they knew about us and some of the stuff we did. And he was interested in buying uh, still recipes in exchange for me being hired on as a blacksmith. Is that an issue? So you was going to hire him and not my guy? Oh, I still have to fire somebody, but for still, fuck yeah, absolutely. Mm. If I can get a recipe for a still, yeah, I'd make that trade. I'm never going to give it to you now. You realize that? You're gonna have to go to... behind my back. What do you What do you mean go behind your back? What are you talking about? Teddy, he had never had it. You were never gonna give me this still, right? You're just gonna sell them to me. I want the recipe. If I get the recipe, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna never gonna give it up. Okay, I mean that's fine. I, I mean you gotta understand where I'm coming from, right? If I can get the entire recipe, why would I not want that? <sighs> loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Does that not mean anything to anybody anymore? What's the loyalty issue here, Carl? You're gonna have to help me out. We had a deal a long time ago. What's our deal? Fill me in here.
you really forget, don't you? No, I, I'm, yeah, I guess I, I don't know what... I literally what was going to give you whatever steals you wanted at fucking cost. Right, but if I can get the recipe myself, why so would I not to want to that? me? Are you... Are the steals coming from you, I guess? I don't understand here. You don't have to fill me in. I told you that from the start. Right, so... Yeah, I mean, if I can get the recipes directly and start making them myself, yes, I would love to have that. That's would be huge for us. I don't see that as circumventing you. I mean, that's opening up our channels. Uh, it's yeah, absolutely. Teddy, what would you do? In my shoes, Teddy. I, I mean. If this is a little bit of a, you know, we could twist, I guess. I, I guess I don't see this at all how you see this. I, I didn't realize this still thing meant that I was tied for you to you forever, Carlo. I, I don't see it that way. I have no problem doing business with you, right? But if I can open up my own stills, I'm going to. I, I don't, if I can not, you know, suckle up the teeth and get the still from you and go directly to my own source, then why would I not? All right, well, now it's never going to happen, friend. Uh, okay. I would have openly had this conversation in front of you. I guess uh, I don't I don't see this as going around. I've been openly looking for the stills for a long time myself. I haven't got any from you, Carlo. That's, that's just the end of it. I've been wanting them for a while. You've never asked. I, I have been asking. This is We've had this conversation. Have you ever come to times. me and said, I want one tomorrow? Yes, yes I did. And you told me that there was one available that you guys had, but you would get back to me as soon as possible, and that was two weeks ago. You gotta remind me, I got a lot fucking going on. I, I got that, right? But we've had this conversation, and I mean, I would never, never make it a secret that if I can get the recipe myself, I will. Like, that's... I would feel like anyone would do that, right? If I, I can manufacture know. stills as a blacksmith, why would I not? Loyalty means a lot to me, and I just, uh, I don't know. I don't, uh, Carlo, I don't see this as a loyalty issue. I, not at all. I don't see a loyalty issue here at all. This wasn't something where I was going to, uh, what am I going to do with the still? How does that affect you, I guess, would be my question. If I'm making it myself versus buying it at cost. How does it affect me? Right. Because it fucking takes me right out of the equation. It circumvents me. That's the word I've been saying from the start. So is, okay, is Raddy getting the stills from you then? I, I, I don't. Is that what's happening? Everybody is. Okay, see, that's news to me. Right? I didn't realize everybody was going. I, th I figured some every group probably had the recipe. Right? No. Okay, well, that's news to me, right? That's, that's not how I thought it was working. I just assumed I was being middleman, right? I don't know who the who was actually producing the stills. No, I came to you from the start with the respect of telling you that I got the stuff... I've come into contact with it, and that's this is uh, this is alarming to me. Okay, well, the, what I was told in our conversation with uh, Mango was they had the recipe to make the stills, and they'd be willing to make a trade. And Who's Mango? I would have uh, Teddy. Uh, that was me. That was my old alias. Yeah, Teddy doesn't fucking have it. Okay, so so if someone comes to me with a false proposition, and that's somehow supposed to be an issue, right? Like, if they came to me and said, hey, I have the, which he also mentioned the cocaine still, that they may be working on being able to make that. And that would also I mean, be was, I mean, all of it was a little bit of a wife, fella. But, right, okay, it was, <laughs> what, what the fuck is this then, okay? You're going to come to the shop and lie about all the shit you can get us and expect me not to be like, oh, wow, yeah, absolutely, sounds like a great deal. Uh, what the fuck is, now, okay, now I'm kind of seeing a lot of issue here, Carlo. What the fuck, you sending people to the shop over here to I try didn't and bait them? Okay, then what is this? What, he came to me and he told me, he said, you know the guy, they, I literally, he came to me as a fucking, had no idea that I even did business with you. No fucking clue. And he told me that, he said, I might be getting a job up in Annisburg as a blacksmith. And I said, oh, no shit. And he said, yeah, if I told him that I'd trade him the steel recipe. So don't question my, my integrity here. So he, okay, so was the steel recipe a lie then? Was the cocaine a lie? That's what I'm asking, right? Teddy, 
Yeah. Okay. So then, yes, I would absolutely if if someone came to me with a still recipe, which I was told he had, and that was going to be the trade, I would get rid of an apprentice if I could get the still recipe for moonshine and then the one for cocaine. I would still make that trade right now to a group that came to me as long as they were loyal, right? And the reason we wanted to know their loyalties was so it didn't interfere with the Irish and with you. That's the stuff we were going to check up on today and tomorrow to make sure we didn't have any issues with Chuck Dalton's group if we went into business with them. Was that not said to you, Teddy, in the conversation? That we were going to start asking people to make sure there was no conflicts? Well, yeah, we talked about, like, okay. we were asking so, what our, what our, who our group was, you know, had any issues right. with, and we told you the one group, which was the hateful, that is true. I was, I, would, I didn't did, lie about that. Okay, what did Dimitri say to you after you said that? What did he say? We're going to have to check ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So that was going to be a conversation with the Irish and a conversation with poor genies, okay, to make sure this wasn't going to be a conflict, right? There's no fucking going around behind people's backs. That's all bullshit. I'm very open. I want recipes, right? Uh, I would any smart man that's a blacksmith would want recipes to make stills. Abso- absolutely, right? Uh, I have the skill set to be a manufacturer, and I would like to use that. Would you Carly, realize I was going to be giving you these things at a thousand dollars a piece that you could fucking sell them for two thousand? Right, but I, you understand, I haven't, I haven't gotten a still yet, Carlo, and yeah, I didn't and know I, that's what they were on fucking come my me. Way. Right, so. I've been I've been looking for my own source, you know what I mean? Uh, and I figured I was just bothering you by asking you, so I've been looking elsewhere. I don't know what bothering all bothering you by asking me. I fucking bother you every day for shit. This is <laughs> I know be that's a two-way fine. street. That's fine, I, and I don't mind that. I, I like working with you, but the stills I, I consider that separate business. You know, if I can get recipes, I'm not just looking for moonshine. I would like to have cocaine as well. So, and if a group's going to offer me that, I'm going to take it. Well, I'm right. going to tell you, Absolutely. there's one fucking person that exists that fucking knows that, and, you know, <laughs> you're going to be the middleman on that, too. And that's, you know, well, that's, that's something I'm, you know, attempting to cut out, and you got to understand, you have to respect the fact that I, if I can cut out somebody, I will, uh, to get to the source, right? And I, but I don't know who the source is, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm sorry, but I'm just... Probably, I mean, maybe, uh, maybe 30 minutes ago, I might have been at liberty of, uh, you know, giving you that information eventually, but now it's going to take a bit to fucking restore this trust, because this is just, I get where you're coming from. Everybody right. wants to be yeah. pit bulls in the fucking arena and try and get the, get the stuff, but we told you from the start, you know, we Carl, have been Carl, promoting you... this to everybody in this, from the start, that fucking loyalty and fucking honesty goes a long fucking way, and that's the, how all of our groups are going to fucking make it and not have these fucking issues. Carlo, your your proposition was you would get me a still at cost. There's a big difference between getting a still at cost and being able to manufacture them myself, right? There, There's a pipeline for that still to come to me. It, absolutely. I would tell you, if you would have asked me to my face, hey, would you rather get the recipe for yourself? Yeah, absolutely. That's never been a secret here. I don't understand how you could possibly think I would not want to get the still myself if I could, right? I just, I don't get that. Uh, and so if someone approaches me and says, hey, do you want to buy a still or get the recipe from me? Uh, yes, absolutely. I've also asked the Solomons if they had the recipe for the moonshine still. I've asked the Irish and I've asked everywhere. Okay, this isn't a secret. It hasn't been a secret. Right? I didn't think this was something that you needed to know or you would even find offense to. Right? That's, pardon me, but that's far beyond my comprehension of what we had going on here. So if there was any offense to you, I'm sorry. That was never the intent at all. (laughs) I just know I'm fucking reasonable and I'm going to accept your apology and say, chalk this up as a fucking big misunderstanding. Yeah, I I think it absolutely is. And uh, fucking Mango, I don't know what kind of shit you're pulling, man. I I thought we were good. And I would absolutely hire you on if you had that stuff, right? Uh, I would have to get rid of somebody, but that's that's worth it to me, right? To me, absolutely. For that kind of information, yes. And I think they would understand. So, yeah, I think it's a misunderstanding. I, I, I say I'm sorry only for the misunderstanding, Carlo. I'm not sorry for looking for the recipe. But, I mean, if it's coming directly from you, then I guess it is what it is. You, you can't expect us to not look for information. That's that's wild, right? And I'd, I'd hope we'd have the trust there that you would understand that 
we are going to look. If we can get stuff directly, we will. You realize I came up here to have a conversation with you and didn't just fucking blow your head off because of oh, the I, trust and because of the fucking relationship. Right. I mean, I think, you know, sure. I don't understand how it even escalate to that, I guess, because, again, I'm still kind of mystified as to how this is an issue. But uh, it's, yeah. Uh, I can't, I can't. We're not going to find an understanding there, I don't think, is to me, it's not a big deal. But. Well, we got a storm coming, so. Yeah, we do. I don't know, Carlo. I mean, yeah, I, I can't change what's been done, and it never was hidden from you. So, if you want the inner workings of our business, please ask, but I can't come to you with everything I'm doing. I'm just... I ain't asking you to do that. I was just asking uh, maybe uh, things that you didn't know I wanted the questions to. Sure. Yeah, I mean, now I, now I understand kind of the moonshine thing, but that's, you know, it, again, if I can get the recipe, I'm going to get the recipe, right? It's as simple as that. I'm a businessman. I, I can't really help that. Yeah. I mean, businessman to businessman, I fucking understand that. But like I said, it just, if you fucking wanted one, tell me and I can fucking have it ready for you. But I, you brother, know. brother, I always want one, but I want the recipe. That's what I'm saying, right? That's, that's what I was talking about. That's what I want. Right. Still, too, don't get me wrong, right? But recipes, cocaine, moonshine, sure, would be great. That's the stuff we're looking to buy or trade for, right? Because it's more than just me, you know? We have people that really want this in our crew, and my job is out there trying to get it. So I can't, I can't apologize for that. That's just that's business, right? Well, I Same can't get you a group. recipe. I can get you a still, but you got to tell me when. Yeah, I'll try I will to make it happen. I will try to make it happen. All right. So does that mean you want one for tomorrow or? Yeah, I'll take one for tomorrow. Absolutely. All right. We're not going to have a horse when we wake back up, Carwell. <laughs> Put that at this table. It ain't mine. Oh, no. We, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's gotcha. not ours, no. All right, well, I'm going to, I don't know. Yeah, we'll talk. All right, we'll talk. I just, uh, you, I don't expect you to understand, but maybe one day you'll understand. You yeah, know, I understand that I did I come here with, uh, you know, the intent of fucking going off, but I just can't do that to you because of the respect. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe we'll find common ground on All I'm saying is thinking. if this deal ain't that fucking good as far as uh, with you and me, then fucking cut it off and we don't have to fucking, uh, you know extend loyalties it, it it's totally up to you brother it ain't that it's you know i'm always going to be looking for recipes I, I just can't help that right i mean yeah maybe in a little bit when uh things get a little bit uh you know more set in stone and on the ground i could you know do that but i i just i can't Fuck. So it's really not smart from a, from a business standpoint for Arlo to go up there and shoot the guy who is one of his bigger suppliers of materials. Appreciate the raid, Silver. What's going on, man? How are you?
Carees, what's up? Say sa. Uh, welcome everybody. Trying to get in. Everybody, uh, shoot Kariz, who plays Miss Tilly, a follow. She is the, uh, the mom of Saint Denis. Appreciate the sub. Thank you very much. Just looking for Teddy. Yes, you guys obviously understand. I can't just come up here and blow the head off of uh, my number one supplier. I don't want to cut things off. I know the storm kind of cut us short. No, you're good, but... friend. I guess I'm just a little irritated, and, uh, you know, I, I, I got to expect that, uh, you know, we're all animals here. We're all fucking, uh, you know, going to fucking eat when we can, you know? But I don't know what... I don't know, well... Yeah, I don't know what Teddy or Mango, whatever the fuck he wants to go by right now, is telling you, right? But you got to understand the offer he's coming to me with, right? Yeah, I, I hey. looking at it now, I uh, I can see it from full, full perspective that it's just you and me standing here and, uh, you know, not him. Yeah. I don't blame you, especially because uh, based on what you say, you didn't know the circumstances, but... He, yeah, here's the conversation. I, I don't know. Again, he may have told you all this. I don't know, right? He comes in. He says he's looking for a blacksmithing spot. I tell him, hey, I'm not hiring. I don't have enough rooms. Demetri tells me, hey, this guy, he's with uh, Chuck. You know, talk to him. I don't know. He may know some information, right? So we go talk to him. He mentions the moonshine still, but they have the recipe. And then they have the recipe for the white stuff, you know, some cocaine and how to manufacture that. So we have a little chat outside, myself and Dimitri, we realize it may be worth cutting somebody loose for that information that is extraordinarily valuable, as I'm sure you understand, right? And so we go tell him and say, hey, yeah, absolutely. If you can show us how to manufacture that stuff, yeah. And I mean, Carlo, I would take that deal any day. I'm going to be honest with you, right? That's just absolutely. I realize had you told me from the start and been, and this ain't projecting any blame towards you, Mr. Whitney, but had you uh, been honest with me from the start and told me that you know, you are actually affiliated with uh, his crew. Who, Dimitri? Yeah. Oh, that's new. Uh, last time we talked about it, that was not the case. 
that's pretty new. So past a uh, week or so ago. We've always been friendly, as I've told you. I've always liked you understood. Yeah, yeah. But uh, as far as actually being affiliated, that's that's new. Yeah, I mean, uh, if I knew that, you know, you wanted a seat at the table to discuss these kinds of things, I could have fucking gotten you in. No harm, no foul. I got you. All right, well, I think now we're clear. An unfortunate circumstance that happens, happens but, I mean, that uh, that never even crossed my mind, right? And Is we it were really unfortunate, though? I think, uh, well, you know, I think it would have so, been unfortunate right? if I would have acted on emotion like I, I usually do. Uh, yeah, I get it. Uh, we all go there sometimes. It happens. I mean, if you want a seat at the table, I can get you a seat at the table where, uh, you know, you get bought into this kind of information. But as far as absolute control of things, like, that's not uh, how, how all of the, uh, you know, the big fellas have decided to handle things this year. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm somewhat clear on that. So, yeah, I mean... Big fellas is in, like, uh, Mr. Porgini and, uh, you know... All of that, like the leaders of the groups. Sure. You know, there's Again, uh, though, common right. understandings. <laughs> right. Again, but that's not the offer that was given me I get an you. hour ago. I get right. you, but now I'm uh, trying to give you a little bit of insight and uh, I got you. how to navigate these kinds of things instead of being duped by some idiot like Teddy sometimes. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, we weren't duped in the sense that we were going to have to be shown the recipes, right? We're not going to hire somebody on uh, when that information isn't correct. Yeah. So, hence the vetting of the group before any of that happens, which was our plan. You know? So, it's... I, I'm sorry, I, I don't see any fault on my part. You may, you may, you may be offended. I apologize that you're offended, but I, I... Brother, that's just the way it is. And yeah, me and Dimitri, we're... You know, I'm with Dimitri now, there's no secret there. Um, well, then how about you boys come and uh, have a chat with... You know, the poor genie's here sometime, and uh, we lay it all out there. What your uh, expectations are, what your ambitions are, what your uh, struggles, and all those types of things. And we can actually work together, like we've found to be able to do with just about every other, you know, organization who seeks legitimacy. And doesn't, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that can definitely happen. Uh... That's the quickest way to get your hands on, you know, all these different things. Right. And I mean, we... We've always been friendly with you, and Dimitri knows. You know, I've always uh, been in business with the poor genies, and that's never been an issue with him. Especially when I came on, we you know we kind of made that clear who we wanted to be friends with and who we didn't. So, yeah, absolutely. I think that's. Let me talk to him, but I think that's something we can definitely arrange. Yeah, I mean, of course, that would uh, that would mean us being completely honest with you, as far as uh, any questions you have, and. Uh... You know, the expectation that the, uh, you know, the same would be returned, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, there's there's always a give and take, my friend. The great thing about Annisburg is, is it's nice to have people up here. You know what I mean? Yeah, no way. Annisburg, I mean. uh, Annisburg's <laughs> valuable in its own way. Yeah, you guys are free to, you know, survive and uh, flourish as you please. But, you know, I think of it like uh, like a collective with uh, Mr. Porgini's trying, well, hasn't, not trying, trying's uh, meaning he hasn't been successful in it. A man's successful in everything he does, but, you know, he is uh, actively managing, like, a collective of people and uh, organizations and their heads and kind of, you know, bringing folks to the table so we can spread the wealth in this sorts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I imagine I understand where you're coming from. So I think it would be beneficial for us to sit down then Absolutely. Right. Okay. Then let's, let's set something up. doesn't have to be tonight or today, but uh, here in the next one of you guys are free, I guess, <laughs> to be honest. When I see you tomorrow, we can uh, hammer out something and set it in stone, okay? Yep. That sounds good. I'll talk to Dimitri. And if you, want that, him, but... uh, if you want that rig, I can make that happen for you. Take it. Okay? Absolutely. All right. Well, all right. I think all. I think we've settled everything here. Never right? go to bed on uh, an, uh, you know, an angry mind is uh, the no, thing that my go. mother taught me when I was a young boy. So. Yeah. Yeah. No. We're. Uh, I'm doing all right as long as you are. Yeah. If I wasn't, I. I hope you would know. I would tell you. Yeah. I imagine so. 
Get your sleep, Mr. Whitney. We've got uh, a yeah, we got a lot it. of business ahead of us. All right. Hey, you still want those fucking plates and pipes for tomorrow, or? Uh... <laughs> yeah. Why would I not? <laughs> Shit, I don't know, Carlo. I don't know. Hell. Mr. Whitney, if I was mad at you, I would have blown your head off. Shit. And I would have made sure you got to a place where uh, you know you wouldn't be found. All you right, realize well. that, right? But I'm not mad. We're good. Just a misunderstanding. All right, I gotta walk away. I'll see you, Carl. <laughs> Be good, friend. Grease, thank you for the bits so much. Is this the horsey we're taking? I don't think so. I think we're gonna have to run. Let's go. Fucking hell, I need some water. for our fucking run back home. Yeah, if you have pickaxes, you can absolutely mine. Oh, time to find someone else to try to be a blacksmith for. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, bringing that to me, Teddy. Yeah, it's okay. And you know I didn't mean to call you a fucking idiot. Well, I am sometimes. No. I mean, I did try to, to trick him into thinking I had the, the stuff. Yeah, well, you're an idiot for that. But I also lied to him and told him that I'm the one who makes them. But I'm not. I'm the middle man, you know? Yeah. Where'd you go? Teddy. Did you go, Teddy? Maybe he popped, I don't know. Abducted by aliens. Teddy!
Jesus, where'd you go? You shot that chicken and I passed out. What, do you love fucking peckies like that so much? Yeah, I fainted. All right, let's go on the track. So oh! Oh, no! Careful, little buddy. I'm sorry for calling you an idiot. It's okay. Guess what? There's usually uh, some horses that are up here in the... What's this fucking town? Rainhorn? Yeah, that one. See if I can run and take my coat off. Ooh, okay, I got it. Yeah. I've been all alone all day. I haven't found anyone yet. You're the first person I found. Yeah, well, uh, everybody's not going to be looking the same, Teddy. You're not going to recognize them. They look like women, okay? Is that what they're doing right now? Yeah, I convinced them all to, uh, to put on ladies' clothes. I got the plan together for, uh, for Mr. Jones's resurrection tomorrow. Oh, okay. There's no, when is that uh, gonna happen? I don't know. Sometime tomorrow. Perfect. Okay. Oh, you're right. There are a few horses here. Yeah, they always leave them here. They go, they're always too drunk. They just leave the horses parked out here. You drive. Okay. Oh. All right. Ugh. Fuck. I'm hanging on. For a second, I thought that that was that guy's horsey. This is not comfortable. Yeah, you're going, you can helps with your core. You're building up your core. Yeah, something like that. My core, my upper body, my sphincter. Your butt? Yeah, that's my sphincter. Is that what that means? Okay. Yeah. Ooh, careful. Yeah, don't fall. God, that fucking hurts. Don't go through them bushes. The resurrection of Jones? Yeah. Is, like, that, uh, is, that, is that what the plan is? I don't even know what's going on with that. All right. I'll explain it to you. So tomorrow, Jones is going to get shot by like a cattleman or something. Something that's not going to make him believe too awfully much, but we're going to make him drink that, uh, that, that stuff I gave him from the Comanches. You know what I'm talking about? Was you around for that? No. All right. But there's this stuff I'm going to give him that's, uh... It's gonna slow his heart down so fucking slow that a regular untrained person like a lawman who, you know, just has like first aid maybe wouldn't be able to detect the pulse. Nikita's gonna find him. She's gonna know that there's a slight pulse because she's a doctor, you know? But uh, yeah. she's gonna... She's gonna do it. She's gonna fucking uh, declare him dead. I've got somebody arranged who's gonna, you know... Bury him, if you know what I mean. Okay. And, uh, he's gonna come back to life. Is he gonna come back to life with someone completely different? Well, here's the thing. We got... I got a, a lawyer to talk to us today. And, uh, we're gonna have the paperwork put in for a gentleman's name to be changed. And, uh, the oh. reason's gonna be that he's got the same name as some notorious criminal. And, uh... It's causing him a lot of, uh, you know, angst and, uh, inability to get a job because, you know, people think it's him. Yeah. So, they're, they're none the wiser. Change his appearance up a little bit after the, you know, the, after the death. He got the, uh, the death certificate. The cops stop fucking chasing him. They think it's done. He gets okay. a new name, gets to live his life, gets a second fucking chance. What he does with that second chance... Not my fucking concern. If he wants to waste it, that's on him. Yeah, he plays. He plays. Gonna waste it, yeah. <laughs> that's on him. Who's gonna shoot him? I don't know. I can do it. I think there's a long line of folks who uh, want to do it. So that's yeah, between you guys. I want to do it, yeah. 
I'll get mad at him. I'll, I'll take the fall. Oh, wait, no, maybe not. Because if, cause if he's dead, then I might... Never mind. I think Angelo wants to do it, and he wants to turn him into a law and then collect the bounty, you know? No, okay. Alright, well, I'm... Gonna have to find him now. All right, thank you, Senor. Yeah. Senor uh, Mango. I can't even get off of here. What the what fuck, fuck is this doing here? in here? Uh, Why no. is this in here? Oh my it, god! Leave it. I want to take it to my shop. Oh, okay. Why are you throwing a gator on the floor? All right, it's yeah. it's gone. <laughs> so animals spawn. I don't think that was a spawn. I think somebody brought it in. <laughs> They're endangered. Yeah, what's up? Nothing. What are you doing? What happened to your eye? Nothing. My name's Max Marsh. Yeah, okay. Maximilian. Yeah, I got you, Marshal Marsh. No, I'm not a Marshal. Jesus. <laughs> God, don't give me fucking like big, big, big trouble for that one. <laughs> I'm gonna start telling people you're, uh, you no. stopped the priesthood and you're a marshal now. I'm Deacon Marshal, get it right. Marshal Deacon? Yeah, exactly. What are you doing? Eh. You know. Just tank it now. Yeah. Ugh. All right, guys, I think I am going to hop off, and what we're going to do is we're going to raid who's on. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I got to get my life together with this sleep schedule. Go. It is so bad. Let's give my boy Leadfoot some love. Leadfoot is the reason why Carlo exists. He's the one who convinced Carlo to uh, come to the family. Let's show my boy some love. Yeah. Appreciate you all hanging out tonight. Understand that uh, he is literally the reason why uh, Carlo's here. Show him that love. See you guys tomorrow. I just came to buy some arrows, is all. Uh, still hunting for some more money, huh? Mm hmm. I'm trying I to save.